beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed The best way to predict your future is to create it. Hallelujah. So that you are not confused about what to expect. And he told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? Has thou commanded thy morning? He said, The heaven, even the heaven of heavens, belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. The heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. But Job, has thou commanded thy morning? Have you instructed your future? Hallelujah. I refuse to enter into a coincidental future. No way. No. Hallelujah. You may not be able to do something about your past. But let me tell you something. It is absolutely within your power. God gave you anointing not for showmanship. He gave you the capacity to create. The only thing that can enter your future is the word of God. Nothing else can enter. Hallelujah. You can send the word. The Bible says he sent forth his word. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word. Listen. Every time you speak in faith, believing, I want you to realize that the word of God is creative in nature. Are you listening to me? To create means to make substance out of nothing. The word of God becomes that substance. It says, the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Every time the word of God materializes, it becomes something. The word can become anything. The word became flesh. It had substance. Listen, Jesus is the word, but you are the voice that will release that word. John said, I am the voice of one crying. Although I'm not the word, but I'm the one who gives breath. Hallelujah. That's the reason why the first characteristic of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence. Whenever the devil wants to destroy the life of a man, he brings you to a point where you cannot talk again. And at that point, you are hoping and wishing and trusting that things will change. But can I tell you something? It is not within, it's not just left for God to change things. You've got to use your mouth as a weapon of creation. Son of man, he said, can these bones live? He said, only thou knowest. He said, really, it's not within... If you want it to change, prophesy. He said, and I prophesied as, as I was commanded. There was a sound. You're going to prophesy one more time to your life. Many of us have left our future as a barren wilderness. You're just hoping one day that things will change. No. 
the fierceness of the world necessitates you rising up and beginning to practice the principles of the kingdom i like the scripture that bishop read he said they go from strength to strength hallelujah as many that appear before him in zion part of the things that happen in mount zion is that you go from strength to strength hallelujah thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Sing one more time. When I pray. Thank you for lifting. 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 My hand. Say after me, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say it like you believe it. I am blessed. I'm blessed. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. The Spirit of God is upon me. I'm a threat to the kingdom of darkness. I know the word. I understand the word. I believe the word. The word is working for me. God cannot lie. I believe his promises. I'm an ambassador. Doing wonders for the kingdom. I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with sickness. I'm the blessed of the Lord. His hand is upon me. I'm the glory of the Lord. I'm the beauty of the Lord. I'm well favored. I'm like a well watered garden. The Gentiles come to my light. The kings to the brightness of my rising. I'm distinguished. I have the oil of gladness. I know what to do. There's no confusion in my life. The word of God is a lamp to my feet. It's a light to my path. True wisdom my life is built by understanding it is established through knowledge my life is filled with blessings say one more time through wisdom my life is built i cannot be foolish the wisdom of god is at work i understand the principles of the kingdom say i understand the principles of the kingdom i know what to do i know how to prosper I know how to live in hell. I know how to be victorious. I know how to live long. I know how to command results. The hand of God is upon me. The word of God is making me wise. It's giving me an inheritance. I'm not an ordinary Christian. I'm supernatural. The anointing is at work in me. I have an unction from the Holy One. In the name of Jesus. Give God a shout of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, I commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise and then give you an inheritance. Listen, listen. If your life still remains in confusion, then you do not understand the principles of the kingdom. Are you following me now? The edge you have over carnal believers or unbelievers is the fact that you are not just walking in a system that you are hoping for things to happen by guesswork. This is why we labor in the world day and night to see that you grasp an understanding. Everybody say understanding. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. It says in all thy getting, get understanding. Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. Hallelujah. One of the greatest blessings of the word of God is that it takes away ignorance. The Bible says, hear me, for an heir, although he's an heir, but as long as he's a child, he differeth not from a slave, though he be lord of all. So although it is true that there are certain things that have been written concerning you, it takes understanding to walk into that experiential truth.
this is what we seek to do. The word gives you understanding. There are a lot of people who just preach for effect. There are many people who preach just for swagger. But let me tell you something. If you are truly anointed, you will preach to create understanding. For as long as I do not know how to cook jollof rice, I, I will keep guessing. Is that true? Mix everything when, but when somebody who knows what to do, the Bible says, follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise. The word of God is full of the compendium of people that came, they saw, and they conquered. They have left a testament of their exploits. So that we, by diligently following in partnership with the Holy Spirit, will do these things. And Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes in me. In other words, he that believes in all these truths, the works that I do. He said, he shall also do. And greater works. That's what the Bible says. It says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus that we should show forth that there be a manifestation of the things that we have been predestined to do. I told you this is a training ground. This is not a place where you just come and sleep or you come and laugh. No. This is a place where God gives you understanding. Say after me understanding. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. When you have understanding, confusion ends in your life. When you have understanding, the same boisterous river called life, you will walk on it as if Satan does not exist. Hallelujah. We're going to pray one prayer and say, Lord, grant me understanding. Grant me understanding. Say it from your heart. Grant me understanding. These things that are still a mystery unto me. Open it up, oh God. The Bible says Jesus was going to the city called Emmaus with two men. And although he was the bread of life, they did not understand. But when he sat at table, he broke the bread and their eyes were open. Say, Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes, oh God. When you know it, you have known it forever. When you know it, it will tell in your life. When you know it, there's no confusion about it. When you know it, see, he said they are life to those who find them. You can pretend to find it, but when you truly, 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 when you truly know it, it will show in your life. Say, Lord, teach me. Teach me. I'm willing to learn. Teach me. Open me up to the things of the Spirit. Open me to the things that command true power. The things that equip me to be an ambassador. You have told me I'm a sign and a wonder. Say, Lord, I don't want to keep seeing darkly. Open me up. The Bible says, if the light in your eye be darkness, how great is that darkness? But it is the entrance, not the reading, not the explanation, the entrance of the word that gives light. Pray, I receive understanding. I receive understanding. That will put me in charge put me in command there is a generation waiting for my manifestation heaven is waiting for me there are lives that are depending on my understanding the things of the kingdom he reigns he reigns he standing by my side to bring his word to pass he reigns he reigns our God is an awesome he reigns he reigns sing it with faith in your heart you are 
are standing by our side. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You will be changed tonight in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please be seated. Greet one another. Hug one another. Tell them it's good to see you again. Bring out your notepads, your pen. Let's get to the business of the night. When you seek him early, you will find him. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of a parable of ten virgins. Hallelujah. And then the Bible tells us that five were what? They were all virgins, meaning they were all of the fold of God, same fold. But five were wise. You know, sometimes when I stand here, I just feel I should just open my heart. Look, let me tell you. The things you are learning that some of you take for granted, you will see people pay with their blood to receive it in the future. This is when you will appreciate it. You are not paying for it. Let me tell you something. The Bible says five there was a time all the ten had the opportunity to get extra oil is that true there was a time that they could have gotten as much oil this is the time right now but while five were paying they all had oil they all had oil is that true they were anointed they had knowledge but the remaining five said uh -uh, the fierceness of time will require that we hold extra oil and while the five held extra oil the remaining people, the Bible says, although they were virgins, they were foolish. What was their foolishness? Refusal to pay attention. When the, those who sold this oil said, remember the Bible says, it is wisdom that stands on the street and cries. While men are passing, wisdom is saying, look, pay attention to me. We need a Sunday school department. Who did CEM? Please. Help that baby. Praise God. Are you listening to me? And then, all of them were gathered. What they did not know, listen, was that the oil was being used and would require refilling. And a time came when the lamp of the other five was dying. And the Bible says there was a sudden announcement. This is exactly how life will present itself. Sudden announcement. Here comes the bridegroom. Everybody, the Bible says the five who were wise, on the strength of their extra work, they now said, now we have enough for this occasion with the bridegroom. And then the remaining five, the remaining five who did not pay attention the Bible says they were, they came to beg the other five and say, please, can you give me small oil? They say, no, when it comes to this one, we don't, there are some things they cannot help you do. Listen, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, there are certain parts in life that nobody can help you cross. No matter how they love you, nobody can get born again for you. Is that true? And the remaining five had to run out. I told you this thing. I'm giving you the scriptural basis. That when you don't pay attention to some things, no matter how far you go in life, the, the, the time they were supposed to run and go and buy, they didn't pay attention. Now they were forced to go out. And the Bible says, while they went, what happened? The door was closed. The door was closed. There are some things you are receiving right now. That you will bless God for tomorrow. 
I just sat this afternoon and I was just praying. I was just praying for everyone and blessing God for the ability to hear and to receive the word of the Lord. Was that rain? If that's rain, bring the chairs inside. Bring the chairs. Just find anywhere and sit down. Come. Ushers, help them. Add chairs in the front. Add chairs everywhere. Come and sit down in the pulpit. It's the word that you are hearing now that will give you shelter tomorrow. You have been a shelter in the rain. You have been a doctor when in pain. Lord, you've been a listener when I call. Oh, Lord, you've been my friend. You have been a shelter in the rain. You have been a doctor when in pain. You have been a listener when I call. Oh, Lord, you've been my friend listen no matter what you are going through today is nothing compared to the whiplash that ignorance and lack of preparation will bring i don't care what it is so long as you are breathing the bible says a time will come people will look for death and it will run away what kind of suffering will make a man look for death sit down anywhere sit on the floor it's better to sit on the floor don't be ashamed of the camera we are not we are not playing we are not acting film here this is this is life find a place sit everywhere come and sit around occupy some of these seats if you can just leave the minister's seats sit any other place hallelujah Say after me in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. And I take God seriously. Say it one more time in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. They are life to me. Because I've found them. Hallelujah. I receive calls almost daily, text messages, hundreds of text messages every day. And the major issue is that many people call and they are asking for help. Families. Believers who are born again, pastors, great men and women of God who are trying to find meaning as to why their lives are the way they are. Are you listening to me? Every time we counsel people, we counsel every Mondays and there are families that come with unanswered questions. Listen. The level of unanswered questions that are falling upon people are becoming too serious. People, look, people are asking questions. Questions about their personal success. Questions about longevity. Questions about health. Science has failed. The government has failed. I was reading the paper about i mean um, online now about um egypt and the commotion that is happening and this country and all the things that are happening and tears just filled my eyes i said lord 
I don't know what you did to me that made me to pay attention to your word. But I pray that the people in Koinonia will pay as much attention. Will pay as much attention. The Bible says, my son, pay attention to my words. You see, let me tell you something. The days of begging people for the things of God are over. Are you listening to me? Where you tell people, oh, come. We'll give you sweets, two, two tom tom, one vix, one tom tom for coming. And the people say, Really? Will they give it? Or there's cold and then we'll prepare tea for you. And people come, they say, That tea I will take. Those days are over. Because whether or not, see, everybody in hellfire today believes in Jesus. I hope you know. The only mistake is that they believe too late. The Bible teaches us that there is a time. Please project Lamentations 3.28. Lamentations 3.28. I forbid you. I forbid you from failing in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I forbid you from entering prostitution. As a result of not listening to this message. I forbid our brothers from becoming arm robbers. Arm robbers are not just the ones who jump fence. I forbid you from going to a harbor list. Because you think the word of God is not working. Do you know the number of people that patronize harbor list, Bishop? It's not a hidden thing again. Pastors, prophets, apostles, everybody. Look at graduates running helter skelter around Nigeria. Did you know that many people who run back to Zaria don't just run back because of desire, they run back because of the pain and the severity of the frustrations. But there is a way. God cannot leave people in the dark. There is a way. Listen, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out. You must search it out. You must search it out. Hallelujah. You must search it out. It is good for a man. Man doesn't mean a male figure. It just means a human being. It is good for a man that he bear his yoke. When? When? What is it about the youth of a man? The Bible says the glory of men is their strength. Is that true? Bear the burden. Pay the price. That's why I say this every time. You will quote me in the future. No matter how you cry, I don't care how you are looking at me, I will say it. Hate me, I will say it. I will preach it. We will file you. When you become a wonder tomorrow, you will look for us and say thank you. See, when you are in the training ground, there are some things you don't think about. Don't say, ah, my makeup, this powder is 10,000. Uh -uh. Or you say, Kai, this is my suit. is. Uh -uh. When you are in the training ground, you are there for business. It is when you win that you will celebrate. Is that true? Now is the time for training. So when we say pray in tongues, don't just say, ah, this fine guy is still looking. Pray! Open your mouth and pray. If you don't pray, life will whip you and you will still open that mouth. It will be open. The only thing is for what? Either to announce your pain and tragedy to the world that cannot help. Or to cry before God who is our helper. I say I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. See, if you really get this thing, you have gotten it forever. Are you hearing me? I want one lady who can cook. You know, don't, you know, it's not pride. God has blessed you. You know you, whether you're a caterer or something, stand up. Just one. Who is that? No, no, I'm not going to say you cook. It's an illustration. So, let's call the ones we are sure of. Opie, stand up. <laughs> oh, yeah, now, stand up. Look at this. Listen. If we ask you to make cake now, can you make it with absolute confidence? Ask me the same question. Ask me. No. I may try. It may work. I don't know. That's how many people's lives are. You tell them, 
How can you lead a man from point A to P? They say, well, I know. See, there is a level of persuasion I want you to get. Not just belief, persuasion. See how she just smiled about the key thing. But if they ask you to, there are some of us, you've made it once, twice. Hallelujah. It wasn't bad, but you are not sure. Is that true? When I saw this guy snapping, and Oga John, I knew they knew what they were doing. Ask me to snap. All I know is to look at you and press that thing. Doesn't matter how it comes out. But these guys know something about perspective and angles and the rest. This is what I'm teaching you. Don't just enter the world blindly and hoping that things will change. There is a fierce world out there. Are you listening to me? You're not going to live in health by mistake. Please get this. Are you listening to me? Living in health is not a mistake. You're not going to be prosperous by mistake. One day you wake up and say, wow, so I made it. Mm -mm, it will never be by mistake. You're not going to know God by mistake. You won't have a glorious life and a ministry by mistake. You will not raise children after the fear of God by mistake. This thing of mistake or nemesis or if God wants it, he will do it. Stop that kind of language. It's not a good language. Say, if God really wants to bless me, after all, I didn't ask him for Jesus to die. So why would, if he, wouldn't he freely give me all things? See, if you don't pay attention, you will be surprised. Is that true? Now, Hope, let me ask you. Was there a time you could make cake but not very well? What did you do? Did you train yourself? You went for catering school, Mrs. Kait, Abi. Now, listen. You went, you, she followed those who, with faith and patience, leaving Sam around, going to PZ every time. Because she was determined. Is that true? Now, she can bake cake for wedding. Somebody will give her 50,000 overnight. Is that true? And somebody will say, I hope that the same, uh, our birthday is the same. No, it's not the issue of birthday. This is why people get angry at the success of their colleagues. Because they think life respects age. Ask Elihu. They say, ah. When did the uh, promise become successful like this? When the same koinonia, the same in the same class, taught by the same teacher, somebody will get 100, somebody will get zero. Is that true? God bless you. Please sit down. If you pay attention, if you pay attention and you give it seriousness, I promise you, it's a guarantee. I promise you. You know what? I said this thing right from when we used to meet at the back of chapel. That we will be so successful and the beautiful part is that we will all know ourselves. So that it will not be guesswork. You will know what you did. You know, when you ask a pretty lady, you say, I, I see how fine you're looking. What is response? You say, it's God. Bro. Yes, it's God. But let me explain to you. It's God. God gave grace. You took advantage of that grace. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said, but this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than ye all. It's God that gives children. It's the woman that carries the gift. Correct? So that tomorrow, when you are blessed, it will not be a mistake. And the purpose of the blessing is to make others a blessing. That's why your blessing can never be by mistake. God will teach you the steps and you can guide somebody. Tomorrow, some of you, you are looking at me now. Some of you will be the ones on air. Presidents of nations will come to see the hand of God upon your life. And when they ask you, you will be talking to other people. When you see somebody sagging his jeans and laughing, say, look, for your own good, you better wash this childishness and sit down in one place. It's not the issue, oh, I can do both. It's the matter of the heart. Sit down and allow God to build you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, we've been considering the su subject of success. I tell you, my spirit is fired up. Proverbs 18. We began two weeks ago by talking about the spiritual dimension of success. Give me this mountain. Hallelujah. 
played the documentary and we thought, I told you that success is spiritual. Everything, life in itself is spiritual. Don't let secular humanists deceive and confuse you. Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. Then we considered the place of wisdom. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by studies. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by accumulation of experiences. Job said, this wisdom is not found in the life, in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Today I want to talk, still building on success. What do you have in your house? Proverbs 18, I want to share a powerful secret and I trust God that will pray. Proverbs 18 verse 16. Proverbs 16. Let's read together. You can look up. One to read. And bring it him before great men. One more time. Now, where a man is, put your name. Ready to read? One, two. Don't say my gift. My is not your name. This is English. One, two, go again. Mean it from your heart now. One, two, go. Father, bless your word tonight. In the name of Jesus, give us understanding. Let the fruits of this teaching speak. Let it abide in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says the gift of a man can do what? The word make there is create. It can create space for him in life. And usher him. Can we get it from NIV? Or New Living Translation? Anyone? Ah, is, that's, that's, not, is that, that's not the version. That's a different. 1816. A gift does what? It's, it's not saying a gift like a bribe. No. Just forget. It's not like a bribe. We're not talking of Nigeria here. Are you following me now? Because many of you, that's what you think I'm talking about. No. I'm not saying a gift like a seed. Huh? No. A gift. The gift of a man. It says what, my dear? It opens the way for who? Not the giver's friend. Not the giver's brother. It opens a way for what? And does what? And ushers him into the presence of it says the gift of a man. Whether there is space or not, the gift can push people and create space for him and usher him into the place of the great. A man's gift can make room. Have you ever heard people say no space? Have you heard that language? Sorry, no space. If there was space, it would have helped you. The Bible says a man's gift has the ability to push people and make space. Not only that, when other people are segregating, it can usher him to the place of the great. Hallelujah. It can usher him to the place of the great. Write it quickly. What is a gift? God giving abilities. God giving abilities. Your potentials. God giving abilities. That's simply what a gift is. Your God giving ability. The Bible says if you take it seriously. It can create space for you in life. This night we are not just talking of gift. We are also talking of skill. What's your skill? Your learned abilities. Acquired abilities. The difference between a gift and a skill. Is that one is God given. It can only be developed. The other one can be learned. It can be acquired. Both of them have the capacity to bring you before great people. Say amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of an interesting person called Joseph. Hallelujah. 
And the Bible says that he had Joseph, by the way, please, Joseph was not a dreamer, for God's sake. Are you listening to me? Joseph was not a, there was nothing spectacular about the dreams of Joseph. As far as we know in the Bible, he had only two dreams. How many times have you had it? Have, have you dreamt? Are you a dreamer? So Joseph was not, his gift was not dreaming. His gift was the ability to interpret dreams. Are you following me now? So the Bible says that because of that ability, his brothers envied him. Many things happened. And then the Bible, I'm just rushing now. The Bible says when he was put, remember when, when um, Potiphar's wife and all her story, 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 let's just jump it. He found himself in the prison. Is that true? And the Bible says when he found himself in the prison, there was the wine presser and the baker. But he realized that he had something. Is that true? Are you following me now? When it was time for God to bless him, God made the king to dream and close the heavens over the sorcerers and the magicians. Are you listening to me? They got up in the morning and tried to do their enchantment as usual. No way. Because it was time for God to bring a man into success. But God realized that a gift can open a way. What way? The way of the prison. Nothing else would have opened that way for Joseph because they were not planning to bring him out. Is that true? There are many people today who do not realize that if they take advantage of the gift of God that is in them, it has the ability to take them from where they are into realms that they never dreamt possible. And tonight, this is our prayer. We've been examining the principles of success. There is a dimension of success that only your gift can bring to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your gift. This dependency attitude of Nigerians is what has stopped them from exploring their gift. Have you heard that statement? What is it in English? May God give you so that we will get. It's, it's a wrong concept of dependence. That's how many of us are waiting. Say, so, oh boy, just get work. Once you are there, just remember me. Your boy is there. See, let me tell you. If that is your mindset, you are going to suffer in this Nigeria. And in case you think you will run abroad, you will still suffer. There are still people, there are people under the bridge of every nation. True or false? Every nation in the world has, has bridge and there are people that sleep there. It's just that films don't carry it. There is ghetto everywhere. True or false? So, many of us have this escapism mind. You are just trying to get lottery and say, oh God, let this green American lottery just happen. They would go and see how many Nigerians live like, like outcasts abroad. Because they believe. I've told you, there is nowhere called greener pastures. Greener pastures is the word of God. The Bible says, he makes me lie down. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Many people want to run to delta or rivers. Say, ah, oh yeah, we're coming to chop our share of the national cake. Go and find out how many poor people were born and bred in that same land. Are you listening to me? Everybody say, I have a gift. Say it, I have a gift. It can make room for me. It can take me from where I am to where God wants me to be. Hallelujah. Second Kings. Somebody is catching this thing and leaving some realms forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Catching this and leaving some realms forever. Hallelujah. Who would have known that comedians will be paid millions in Nigeria today? Look up please everybody. How many of you used to play football and you come back home and they've kept the cane to flog you? As soon as you are entering, there's a way you greet your father. He says, hey, you already know that this night. But today, that same football, are you listening to me? That same football 
has blessed people. Comedians, for heaven's sake, they won't come until you give them 2.5 million or 5 million to come and talk. They just crack a joke. Hallelujah. There are artists today, artists today, those who draw caricature for banks, they are paid millions of naira. Millions of naira. Listen, if you get what I'm teaching you this night, something will happen in your life. Some of you, it will happen instantly. A young man called Gray Farah, many of you know him. Gray Farah at age 10, was wondering what to do with his life. And he found out that he liked stones and he decided to start painting stones so that people will use it to just, you know, just press their books and their doorposts. And people started looking at him and laughing. Every time people saw it, they just laughed. And they said, well, let's just help this small boy. Little did they know that that was a champion in the making. A time came, he started packaging those stones very well. At age 12, Gray Farah became a millionaire. At age 14, he was seated in the board of directors of 14 companies. Age 14. How old are you? Are you listening to me? I want you to know that if you take advantage of the gift, the gift of God is his seed in you that is supposed to help you enter the realm where you have influence and honor to legislate on behalf of heaven. Are you listening to me? Jeremiah Gyang, I've told you, Jeremiah Gyang used to be in Joss. That guy they call Jeremiah Gyang. Now, um, whether they are serving Satan or God is not the issue now. Are you listening to me? The issue is that the gifts were developed. You, you, get, you get the point? The guy you call MI, I've said it, Jesse Jacks, who were Sunday school mates. While all of us were looking at ladies, hey, pastors, daughter, this, those guys were building their potentials. Just like some of you were doing. You will go to church, you won't sit down, you will use your offering money buy ice cream, be playing ball at the back of the church. That's what you were doing. Whereas others were hearing the word and growing. See the difference right now. Are you listening to me? That these things have been perverted does not negate the fact that if they are gifts, they will still bring men to honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Second Kings 4. The story of an interesting woman. Now, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet. So the, the person was the son of a prophet. Look at me. I want to tell you something. Maybe I'm going to create another controversy now this night. Listen. That your man of God or your spiritual father or mentor is anointed. Does not automatically guarantee that you will enter success. Did you hear what I'm saying? The Bible says this guy was the son of who? That means it does not respect anointing. Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest what thy servant, that thy servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is come to take my two sons to be slaves. And Elisha said to her, listen now. This woman was in a situation where she needed a miracle. Two of her children were going to go as slaves. Hallelujah. What did Elisha tell her? He said, what shall I do for you? And he asked a question. He said, tell me, what hast thou in thy house? What do you have? Where? In your house. And the Bible says there is this treasure in this house, these earthen vessels. He said, what do you have? The woman had been running helter-skelter, running helter-skelter, and she met the prophet. And the prophet said, what do you have in your house? Could it be that many of you who have been running helter-skelter or many families need to calm down and look at what you have in your house? I've learned by experience and by the word that the blessing of a man is always not far from him. It's just that there is no discernment to recognize it. Are you listening to me? Yes, the blessing of a man is always not far from him. Sometimes it's ridiculously close. You may not even know. 
there were many people who walked with Jesus yet they were looking for miracles and until Jesus went to heaven they were not blessed because they did not realize your miracle can be so close you may not know the Bible says and she said thy handmaid had not anything in the house except what a pot of oil you see how she didn't place value on it the bible says she said thy handmaid had what nothing nothing that means this thing is not of worth but just for the sake of answering you let it be there thy handmaid had nothing there are many of you that god has given you certain things and you have been calling it nothing 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 the gift of a man whether it's a spiritual gift is whatever kind of gift the bible says the gift of a man can single-handedly pick you where you are take you out and exalt you it can it can i tell you it can hallelujah the man called reinhard bonke he said he was considered by everybody to be a dollar, what people call a dollar, complete dollar, dollar IQ, low, everything low. But one day he discovered that there was the gift of God in his life. And today, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world celebrate this man called Reinhard Bonke. His name is synonymous to soul winning because he discovered the gift and it created space for him among the great it ushered him when you are mentioning great people in history you will mention him men who have done great things for the kingdom are you listening to me in history there's a woman called mother Teresa. didn't have the ability to heal the sick and do all of this but she discovered that she had a gift in her she refined it to a point that she gave it and gave her life and forever history will remember her are you hearing me the gift of a man i want you to know that there is an ability in you nobody here is a biological accident i know you've been hearing it ah your parents plan for four children and you are the fifth one you just came and every time they see you they say see we didn't prepare for you so you you better know this thing you are stubborn no wonder we didn't prepare for you and for some of us, these words have entered us. But I'm speaking to you tonight. That out of the 6 billion people in the earth, there is still space for those who are ready to make their... See, at the top, there is space. The congestion is always below. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you can pay the price to rise to the top, you will sit there and be wondering. 90% of the world's wealth is controlled by less than 10 percent of the world's population and they left the remaining 10 percent they spread it across and flung some in africa and everybody is running like rats whereas somebody can arise a man called wole so inka got up and looked and said look the boundaries of africa will not stop me he knew that he had something see i want you to be persuaded persuaded it always does not look like it can make you great until you see the way men celebrate it. Matthew Ashimolo hawk bread in this area. Some of our parents bought bread from him. While they were eating it, he was prophesying, Lord, the world will hear me. You say, I bring bread, 20 naira you take. Yet, this guy was moving within a short period of time now he has commanded what we call apostolic territorial legislation that's what he's doing in london but acres and hectares of land that they would never give to a black person and he's legislating on behalf of heaven a man called sondia delaja till date he does not speak fluently he got up and went to a communist country ukraine and stayed there let a part of those who led right now he's among the fourth most influential people in that state 80 percent of the people in his church are whites he has led a revival and broken some barriers say after me my gift say it my gift will make room for me 
Let me share with you a little story. They know about it. Years ago, I went to a particular bank in this country to go and beg for loan. I just entered promising. I believed God. Spoke in tongues, fasted, prayed. I got up. You know, there's a way they can look. You see, let me tell you. People have, be careful. I'm warning you now in advance. Be careful the way you, you turn people down. Because let me tell you, it does not show. The Bible says, now it does not yet appear. Went to squat in my friend's house in Abuja. I got up, went to the bank, met them. Told them I was begging for loan. These people dribbled me, dribbled me, made a fool out of me, embarrassed me in the bank. I didn't, I said, what is all this thing? And I laughed. I said, one day, they will call me. Are you hearing that? One day. What's the name of this guy that ran for second uh, vice president? Tunde Bakari. A bank came and met him and said, sir, we are begging you to collect a loan of $10 million. We want to give you. No capital. The name of the capital is human capital. Do you know what human capital is? You and your reputation is what will be a, a collateral. So banks are looking for Dangote and looking for this and then some of you run there and they say, get out of this place. We are looking for people who have used their gifts. Tell yourself, no man will mock your God in your lifetime. This is what has happened to some of you. You see your father stand, no rent, and a landlord will stand and blast all of you, blast you, say, look at you, pretty for nothing. Eh? You are all these kind of Nigerian people. Just laugh. And say, you will invite him when you are cutting the scissors of the duplex you are building for your parents. The gift of a man. The gift of a man. The gift of a man. The gift of a man makes room for him. I'm speaking to some of you. Some of you think, don't just think I'm motivating you. I'm speaking to your spirit. I told myself I will never go anywhere where anybody will look and I'll have to chicken out and hide myself. I have something. I have something. I have something. When you find it, it so happens that God carved your own like your fingerprints. God is not a fool. He will not put competition around. He gave you your uniqueness. What is your uniqueness? When you know your uniqueness and you are persuaded about it, you found your secret of glory in life. Did I do something here? I think I've done something. Did, was it me? Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I have seen people in this life that years ago, they would look at me. They wouldn't. Some of them. <laughs> let me tell you something. Ah! life somebody who will be driving you today tomorrow will be the one who it will be the honor i've gone to homes that i went years ago years ago they were looking at me like some of these unserious people but now when they hear you are coming it's as if god is coming say say after me the gift of a man yes the gift of a man makes room for him makes room. The brothers of Joseph did not realize his gift. They didn't know it would be an honor one day for them to see their own brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One time they went and suddenly they found out that their brother was now the prime minister in Egypt. Could it be that some of you who are sitting down today, somebody who has looked at you and said, Tolu, one day the person will say, Tolu, please talk to XYZ for us. May God make you a wonder. May God stop you from being small. What is that gift? What is that gift? For some of you is wisdom. When you think of Benny Hinn, you think of the healing anointing. When you think of Aura Roberts, you think of healing. When you think of JJ Okocha, you think of football. Mark Zuckerberg, you think of IT. What is your uniqueness? Define what makes you different. That's what the world will pay for. What makes you different? The greatness is not in your similarity. The greatness is in your difference. When you master your difference, you will exchange it for honor. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. The world is full of people. What is your difference from others? Do you know it? Do you even believe it? There are many musicians in this country equally anointed. But when you call Sinach, there is a, there is a, a carving. She has carved a brand for herself. When you mention Frank Edwards, they, they not only discovered their gifts, they discovered what was unique about that gift. That's what makes you priceless. When you discover that gift, you will know that you are not one of the many people roaming around the earth. Oh, there is something about your life. You may be in the same class. You may be in the same office. But let me tell you, you are not the same. You are not the same. You may be doing ministry. Everybody is doing prophetic ministry. Everybody is doing apostolic ministry. Everybody is doing evangelical ministry. What is it about yours? What is it about yours? Every great man in life not only discovered his or her gift, but the uniqueness about that gift. What is your uniqueness? What makes you stand out from the rest? I'm asking you, and God is asking you, what makes you stand out from the remaining people? Listen, when you find your gifts, the next step is to begin to refine it. This is the hardest part. Because your gift at its default state is not good enough to make you marketable. Did you hear what I'm saying? Refine yourself. Build yourself. A lot of us don't do this. Christians are very, very, very lazy people. You know what made us lazy? The fact that there is something called the favor of God. There is something called the wealth of the wicked that will be transferred to the righteous. And people just say, my wealth, come, find your way into my pocket. <laughs> Look, let me tell you. People have been confessing that thing from the day you were born. And they thought it just works like that till today it has not come. When the Bible says the wealth of the wicked, people just, people just, just, craft that thing and pick out what they want. The wealth of the wicked will come into, the Bible says, God give it to a man that is good in his sight, wisdom. And he said to the unbeliever, he give it to heap and to travail so that he will bring it. It is your wisdom. Hallelujah. What is your gift? What is your uniqueness? What makes you stand out? What makes you stand out? Among all of the graduates in Nigeria, what do you think will make you get a job? What do you think will make you become a CEO? What do you think will make you become an uncommon? I preached a message, extra, what did I, what, extraordinary anointing. What makes you extraordinary? Hallelujah. What makes you extraordinary? It's not your place of birth. It's not even whether you are from a royal family or not. What makes you different from other people? If I write a book today, what is the difference between my book and that of David Biome or that of Bishop Oyedeko or that of Paul Enenche? What is the difference? Many of you like doing the same things. That's why you are not moving anywhere. This is how a lot of people. We, like, we think it will work because you are doing copy and paste. There is beauty in being unique. Are you listening? There are even, even among bad people, there are some arm robbers that are notable because they were unique. Their degree and strategy of arm robbery was so touching. They said, no, I won't steal like the rest. This thing is common. There is a strategy. This follow, follow attitude is good to follow people, but you must follow with wisdom. Many of you, every time God is telling you move left and you see a crowd moving right, you think you are wrong. A whole nation can be wrong. That a thing is popular does not mean it is right. The path of greatness is a lonely path. Few people follow it. That's why you will not find many people. You will think you are making a mistake. Wait until you arrive there. 
everybody will turn and say, ah, I need pastors in that journey. Hallelujah. What is your gift? Do you realize that if you take that gift, some of us is plotting, just plotting. Do you know that if the Lord anoints it and wisdom comes upon that gift, you will be able to establish something that will make you so influential you can legislate for the kingdom. Are you listening to me? A lot of people say Billy Graham, all the presidents go to greet him. But what people do not know is that it was part of his life's goal. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. His, he really didn't believe his gift was just normal evangelism. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. He sent them hundreds of telegrams again and again. They kept bouncing him. He didn't stop. What you see or what you have seen is the reward of many years. There are some of you, God has spoken a lot of things. God has told you. Some of you will own banks. Some of you will own corporations. Hallelujah. You started selling recharge card, nothing happened. People just say, and you know believers have this ugly way. Once you start something, nobody buys it. They say, oh God, leave this thing. You know, if God is in it, speed will come, favor will come. It is lack of the understanding of the principles of the kingdom. You can never know success until you know failure. In the school of greatness, your greatest asset is your failure. Are you listening to me? Are you following me? I'm teaching you something very powerful. My gift can make room for me. My gift can make room for me. Worship team. Roti me is rehearsing all the time. Hallelujah. He's been with us for years. We've, we've gone, I know how much he rehearses morning because he believes. This is, a, this is a master student. I think he should have rounded up his masters. But he just believes that there is something upon this. And he's taking it all the way. Tomorrow, presidents will call him and he will just be playing. And they will sign checks of millions. And you'll be wondering and saying, ah, ah, just keyboard. You, you play your own as you are playing. They just, they point, they will even talk to you. They'll just say this way, go out. Those who do decoration. Do you know there are those who do decoration for presidential figures? There's this guy called Yam, Yal Yam Press. Jordan, what's his name? I, I heard that he was in Zaria here. Is that true? Now he got up with his publishing. And today he has become a multi-millionaire. Yet there were others who started before him. This afternoon we went to pray for uh, one of our ladies' father and she. And while we were passing somewhere, we saw this. I mean, we we're talking about people who were pushing who used to push wheelbarrow, Jake's was saying, ah, this wheelbarrow business used to sell before. And we're talking. And then Wale pointed one man's shop and said, this man, it was by pushing that wheelbarrow. Right now, he has one of the largest shops around. Say, I will not let men despise my gift. Say it. Many of you have stopped developing your gift because you have been lied to. Some of you can cook. And all you can cook is Amala. And you, you have a dream of having somewhere just Amala people love as a yourself. Abba! You want to disgrace the world. See, greatness lies in the bosom of those who can go the extra mile with their gifts. Refuse to let men talk you down. It's better to take a step and fail honorably. They will clap for you. The one who tried and failed is better than the one who didn't try and is just making noise. Oh, pass the ball to number five. Ah, you would have just passed that in now. If you are taking that penalty this way, look at simple penalty. See, you see goalkeeper talk is cheap. Somebody is sweating in the field for 90 minutes. Somebody else is talking. Say if it was me, that thing, the way he did it like you, that it would have been a goal now. That's how many people in life are. How can a graduate not get a job? How can blah, 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 and they are not doing anything? You're in 200 level, your lecturer told you, ah, you're a nice student. Say, I cannot understand why graduates are not getting jobs. Then you finish and carry your CV to the same man that commended you. <laughs> and he says, 
get out of my office. You are like, ah, ah. Say after me, my gift will make room for me. Say, my gift will make me great. Say one more time, my gift will make me great. Yes. Some of you are architects. You are good, but not very good. And God is telling you, refine that gift. One day you will get, let me tell you something. Once you can provide solution, nobody cares about your age or what you can do or who, are you hearing me? The gift of a man defies race and age and anything. Once you see people discriminating you, your gift is not notable enough. When your gift is notable enough, you will break every kind of barrier. Hallelujah. What do you have in your house? And the woman said, nothing. Probably somebody said, me, I can just make people laugh. That's my own. Everybody calls me a dollar. Zero in math, zero in English, P in social, uh, you know, just anything, literature. But you can speak small. At least make people laugh. Why don't you say, Lord, if you can use this. This is what Reinhard Bonke said. He said, Lord, if you can use this, then use me. Do you know your beauty too is a gift? Hello? There are cynical guys that anytime they see a pretty lady, they are just angry. Why? I don't know. Say, Look, don't think because you are beautiful in this place. Beauty is nothing. It's a lie. Beauty is something. Beauty is a gift. The book of Esther, there was no pastor, no prophet, nothing, just a beautiful woman. She was the ambassador of God. Many of you feel guilty for being fine as if you gave birth to yourself. It has happened, it has happened. Cherish it, build it, and use it for the glory of God. Don't use it to go to men in TJ Palace. Tell yourself this beauty, could it be that God will make you marry the minister of finance? So that when you are there as Esther, when they want to cut corners, you say, uh -uh. Do you believe this? I want you to be wealthy. I want you to be blessed. Don't let anybody fool you that money will take you to hell. It's not true. Money only amplifies what you are. If you are a thief, money will make you a bigger thief. If you, are, if you are immoral, money will give you more options. You can now rent a bigger hotel. If you love God and have a desire to advance his kingdom, money will make you do that better. You will build roads. You will build schools. When I went to Shika, I was sharing with them. I said one of my dreams in life is to have a very big hospital. This is why you need to be successful. Say I will be successful. Don't feel guilty about it. Say it. Say I will be rich. I'll be blessed for the kingdom. Yes. Can you give God your beauty? Yes, I have nothing but everybody keeps telling me I'm a pretty person. Why don't you bring it and say, Lord, you can use this. Anoint it. Let this beauty make room for me and take me to a place where I'm in a position of influence to legislate for the kingdom. Some of you are very intelligent. People are sweating, reading overnight. You wake up that morning, one hour to the exam and browse and get A. You think it's ordinary. It's an ability of God. Why don't you stretch it through and say, I will get to a position where I will do great things. When they make me a vice chancellor because of my academic prowess, I will now legislate on behalf of heaven. When they bring the names of people who don't qualify, we kick them out and say no. This person may be poor, but he deserves a chance. Give him a chance. Are you listening to me? Some of you will put scholarships for less privilege. Some of you will name it after your accomplishments. You will be so great, they will name a foundation after you. Joshua Selman Foundation. No, no, <laughs> look. It will happen. The beauty of success is that it depends on you and God. will happen it will happen you know how many women have named their children Joshua M look at how long Matthew's surname is Ashimo Lowo the whole world is calling it they have never complained that it's too long when you become great 
when you become great in life when you become great in life I watched a DVD of Apostle Johnson Suleiman he went for a crusade when he came down I saw how the God they interviewed him in CNN for 12 minutes nobody will say you are a Nigerian or you are an African no listen are you going to remain where you are are you not seeing your family members crying is it not obvious that they need a savior how many of you have seen your father come under pressure no rent no nothing what are you doing about it i told myself i'll come to a point in my life where i'll put all my family members on perpetual salary for their lifetime till they go to be with jesus christ Brothers, how will you like that kind of thing? If wishes were horses, beggars would beg to ride, but wishes are not horses. But you can turn that wish into a horse by applying these principles I'm teaching you and you will ride on it gloriously. What do you have in your house? This is what God is asking you. What do you have? What do you have in your house? Don't sit down and be admiring great people and say, Hey, lucky for them, oh, you people have gone. Don't pray for us. Say, I'm going to do something. Say it. If you know your uniqueness, how many books are you reading? How many books? How many books are you reading? Readers are leaders. How many books are you reading in the area of your call? If you are snapping this camera, if you cannot mention five people in this country that are good or around, I know you are not serious. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You, is that, God is calling me into a healing ministry. Show me whose DVDs you have, who God has called into that healing ministry. Where you are, you are reading how they started. When you go to my house, you don't find, okay, there's, there, there are two movies now. They did the Lord of the Ring is still there. Then this Tyler Perry's film. I can't remember again. I can't even remember the name. But there are people that have modeled what I see God making me become. And I sit down. I study. I want to empower God's people. I want to make them ambassadors. Set them on fire. Do you have a unique grace? Do you have a unique gift? Are you doing anything about it? Some of you just sit down and keep pitying yourself and disturbing those who are moving towards their destiny. Kai, this life self. Now, wow. If we were abroad by 18 years, they would have given us this. If you listen, I'm not laughing this night. If you don't stop that attitude, you will find that you are 50 years and you are still talking like that. Now, you know, there are some people who believe it's just nemesis. That's just how life is for us. Naughty used to work in our family. My sister too is like that. No job, no marriage. Me, ma'am, like that. No job, no marriage. As if you do not know that you can change it. You go to a place of employment, they kick you out, laugh, and say one day we will drink tea with the CEO of this company. We went to Shika and one, one, one man just stopped us. One guard man that is trying, where he was doing his job, the guy stopped us and said, we are not going anywhere. We were trying to plead him. He said, we are not going anywhere. And Shade's husband is like the Oga of the whole, you know, the security company that employs the people. So I called Shade. I said, Todd, they've stopped us. So wanted to go and pray for her father. And she was just happy. She just got one bigger guy. The guy just marched and came. When they came, at once they allowed us and we waved the man and we left. Be careful what you call impossible because somebody will come and make it possible. Would have, there were some people who were waiting there. But when Chade's husband came, he saluted him and we were happy. We were partakers of the glory. It taught me a lesson. It taught me a powerful lesson. Impossible is a relative statement. They can close the door for others and say, sorry, it cannot be opened. 
Sorry, it cannot be opened. You will be amazed to see how they will open it for somebody. I told you there are some people that bank on Saturdays and Sundays too. Is that true? It's only for the masses that bank ends 3 p.m. on Friday. They say, oh yeah, go out, let's lock this bank. But there are people on Sunday, because of one man, they'll open the bank and say, Your Excellency, sir, please, come in. We went to Starcoms and I saw one account officer sitting there. Why will a bank give an account officer to come and sit in a, in a, in a telecommunications company? Some of you, you will have in your own house. You say, so how much are we sending for this school now? Send 10 million for this school, 10 million for this one, 50 million for this. I hear that there is a church building. Send 15 million for it. God punish the devil. Let me talk like Dr. <laughs> Let me talk like Dr. Ebert Damina. He likes say God punish the devil. See, I will be great in life. I'm inspiring you tonight. This was the decision I made years ago. Let me tell you the truth. This decision will cost you something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you willing to pay the price? The woman said, nothing except a little cruise of oil. What did the prophet tell her? He said, go and borrow. You, you are not permitted to borrow oil, but you can borrow vessels. What are vessels? Books, DVDs, experiences. Sit down under the feet of mentors and great people that have gone ahead and listened. I've told you, this attitude of saying we are all equal, we are equal in Christ. But when it comes to the school of greatness, wisdom is ability to recognize difference. There are people I will never, no matter how crazy I am, I will never, if I ever get to a meeting and they are seated there, I must salute and recognize them before speaking. Wisdom, Mike Modok says, is the ability to recognize difference. Many of you don't know difference at all. Hallelujah. Doctors don't go about looking for sick patients. They establish an institution and say, if you are sick, find your way here. Is that true? If you really want to be treated, what will you do? You have to go to the hospital. Is that true? Many of us want the doctors to come and find us and treat us. Sorry, life does not work like that. Get up and begin to do something about your life. Make up your mind. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm awake. How can a young man be sleeping by 10, 11, 12? You yawn by 12 when others are already writing their names in time. And you, you wonder why things will not work for you. Let me tell you, God is a merciful God, but he's a just God. I know the number of times I sleep in a day. I'm always building myself. Nobody will deceive me. Compared to where I'm going, this is just a step out of the cave. Are you listening to me? This is rehearsals. I tell people, ministry has not started yet. When we get to that level of kingdom influence, where we will not talk too much, at that time I won't be shouting like this again. It's when you don't have results, you shout too much. Charles and Francis Hunter say one miracle is worth a thousand words. If Michael Jackson only said, Jesus is Lord. That statement with that level of influence will bring more harvest than what we'll be doing every week in Zaria here for one year. Is that true? Everybody say influence. This is what your gift. Let me tell you very quickly before we pray. What your gift can do for you. Number one. Your gift and your skills. When refined and developed will create opportunities. Everybody say opportunities. Your gift. Your skill. When refined. When developed, my friend, a military man, took me to a place in Abuja. When I entered that place, it's a, it's a spa place, a beauty place. They took me there to bath me. Ah! When I entered that place, I knew that there was difference between clipper and clipper. Babin saloon and babin saloon. Babas and babas. The way they treated me when I sat down and they barbed me. In my mind, I was saying, is this me? Hallelujah. When they finished, they put a lotion. I don't know what it is. My head just foamed like Father Christmas. And they told me, enter this room. 
I entered, I was enjoying, I don't care what it is. I don't need to know. I will employ somebody who knows when I'm blessed. Hallelujah. And when they washed my head and I finished, they appreciated me. Ah! I said, what kind of place is this? And they showed me the owner, a Lebanese woman who was also walking quietly. Nobody even knew. When we finished everything, time came for bill. It says 600 naira. For barbing. That's what you will pay when you meet someone who has refined his gifts. The same food, a cup of coffee in Transcorp Hilton is 2005. Everybody say cup of coffee. How much is coffee? Next cafe, this type they shake there. How much? 50 naira. If you price 20 naira. Yet is the same thing you pay. This decoration you are seeing. There are people who can decorate over 2 million, some even 5 million. You will name your price by your refining of your gifts. Write it. Your gift and your skill will create opportunities. If Rotimi continues this a day, see how the opportunity will come is none of your business. Just know it will come. The Bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of how a child so also you do not know the way of God. How it will happen is none of your business. Hallelujah. One of my uncles called me. My father's friend. Years ago, when they come to our house, we are the ones who run to go and wash the car. How are you? We go and wash. I said, no problem. I will wash it. He called me of recent and said, ah, ah. I've been hearing a lot. We are seeing the things you are doing. I said, bless God. Oh. He said, when will you come now? We need to discuss. There's something we need to sit down man to man. I said, that's right. <laughs> when, when your father starts talking to you like that, it's a sign that you are making progress. When your father says, there are some things I want to discuss with you, but I, when, let everybody sleep. Come out. Clap for yourself. You are trying. That's, that's a sign. When your father says, look, there are some secrets we don't tell people. Who are the people? When your gift starts showing, there are doors that will start opening. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of you, you think you are too young to enter some doors. No, sir. No, ma. If you, if you refine yourself, I promise you that door will open. There are places I've entered today by the grace of God. I know there is no human way under the sun, under the sun that I will enter that place. Hallelujah, I have a gift. Laugh at me, the gift is in me. You will never go out. God gave it to me. The way God did it, God put the gift. The only way to enjoy the gift is to carry me along with the gift. You can't carry the gift and leave me. There are people today, if the gift of God was not in my life, they will see me and just his and pass. But God orchestrated it. You must need me because you need that gift. Oh, I celebrate his name. That's why I rejoice. Such as I have. Go and borrow vessels. This is what the prophet said. Sister, borrow vessels. Read the books. You may, if you borrow vessels, the gift will expand. The oil was there. The problem was there was no vessel. Esther was beautiful, but her beauty was not yet sufficient to take her to the king's palace. Is that true? She was beautiful. Many of you are sitting on gifts today that you are paying for. During my birthday, the things that people brought for me, it was as if it was wedding. You know how they finish wedding and you pack the gifts. I just sat down. I say years ago, I did my birthday alone. Ah, somebody's after two weeks. You say, ah, is it not your birthday? Your birthday 25th. Is it not? Am I wrong? Say you are right. So you say, oh, happy birthday. But there is something that can happen. One year before your birthday, somebody is preparing because of your gift. Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God telling tonight that if you can pay attention, we are discussing on the subject of success. 
Some of you have been sitting on treasure. You are in the middle of an ocean begging for water. You are in the middle of an ocean. You are an artist. You are watching on TV drawings that are not half your capacity. They are rewarding the people whereas you are there. When I watch preachers on TV preach, I tell you with all humility, I just get up and I rejoice. I say, God, you tried for me. We're on our way coming. And I get up, I rejoice. I say, Lord, I may not know everything, but at least I know something. I know something that I can preach anywhere and not be ashamed. Come on now. Some of you, the business acumen that you have, even the CEOs of banks and cooperatives do not have. Listen, that you have not entered that place does not mean you don't have it. Who would have known that Zuckerberg's gift was so good like this? It takes time to prove it. But that does not mean it's not there. Some of our worshippers, some of these people you are seeing, the gifts that they have, you will see them tomorrow and say, I know this person. I know that person. Abel Damina was born in Saminaka here. Right here in this area. Who cares where I was born now? Who cares where I was raised? Even if it was with firewood we used to prepare and cook. It's, 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 look, when you are blessed, you are blessed. When you know it, you have known it. If it opens the door, it will open the door forever. It will open the door this week and close it next week. Say, I have a solution for the world. Say it, I have a solution. Some of you are music groups, some of you are individuals. Who has talked you down? I'm speaking to somebody this night. Who has talked you down? Somebody ate your food and said, God forbid. If your restaurant is the only one, I will just, let me, I will learn how to cook by myself. Allow the person. Who has talked you down? I want you to know tonight that the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The spirit of creativity. Bel Bezalel. That spirit came upon him and he was given the mission of crafting. I'm speaking to you. Who has talked you down, my brother? Who has talked you down? See, many of you see us today and you think we were born this way. Wait till you hear some stories. When you see great people, you think they had opportunities to just climb. Let me tell you, it's not true. You don't want to know the things they have survived. Greatness lies in the bosom of those who have survived what others cannot survive. I don't care what you think you are going through. I, I slept on speakers and amplifier. It will never happen again forever. There were days we did not eat. There were days we trek distances. But we did not allow what happened to us. I, there was a day I trekked from the roundabout where Chiki Republic. I passed Chiki Republic. I was hungry. I could not do anything about it. I trekked from there to aviation. What have you gone through that you think is stopping you? Some of you is complex. Just inferiority complex. Every time you want to rise, the devil keeps telling you, you know you did this, you know you are this, you know you are that. We are here tonight to call that devil a liar. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are calling that devil a liar. There are some of you that the gift God has given you is a supernatural prophetic grace. Some of you is an apostolic ability. Every time in your dreams you see the whole world. Some of you are book writers that will write on common books. The gift of a man. He said, borrow vessels. When she borrowed the vessels, she entered. I said, lock your door. There are some trainings you don't do in the open. You must close your door. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you that like open, there are some times you need to close your door. Because what God will do in you is only him that can do alone. You will close your door. And she began to pour it. Do you know how, how many vessels? The pain it took for her to carry the vessels. While she was carrying the vessels, she said, I'm on, I'm on my way out. Never, never to be in this situation again. You are the solution to the prayer of your families. Some of you, many of them never experienced some things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
But could it be that God brought you tonight to speak to you? There are some of you who have been saying, oh, the government is not giving job, this and that. Could it be that God is trying to speak to you? I'm challenging you. Take what I'm saying seriously because we are going to pray. We will soon rise up to pray. And when it's time to pray, I want you to pray your life out. I told myself I am great. I'm great. I'm great. Joshua Selman, you are great. I speak it to myself every day. The world will hear you. You are a sign and a wonder. The anointing that is upon you is not common. Don't trivialize it. Give God thanks, but celebrate it. If it's common, go and get it in the market. Hallelujah. The gift that God has given you, Oga John, there are photographers around, but it's not common. Believe it and take it seriously. There are some of you that have all kinds of gifts. You are administrators, uncommon administrators. As young as you are, you can sit down and administrate. You didn't read this admin. Could that gift take you? There are some of you who can write proposals. There are many of you who can do a lot of things. I'm speaking to you tonight. Wake up. Call your name and say, wake up. One to go. See, prophesy it from the spirit. One more time. One to go. Yes, the Bible says, awake thou that sleepest. That means you have been sleeping. Awake thou that sleepest. And Christ will give you life. Somebody called me and said, Josh, at, at this level of your life, what are you doing? I said, preparing for an extraordinary life. This is what I'm doing right now. This is what I do every day. When people get up and run, everybody is going for work, everybody is doing, I'm preparing for an extraordinary life. Oh, and when the master is done with me, he will present me as a masterpiece, a symbol of his wisdom and artistry. I speak to you. You will hear this message many years after now. When you stand and watch the world clap for you and tears stream down your face, you will tell them, this award is given to me in London, but I was trained in Zaria. And I did not despise the chastening of the Lord. Many of you, this teaching is hard on you. It's a wake-up call, but despise not the days of chastening. I bring you a word. Let the devil not lie to you. You are great. You are on your way to happen. I don't care how many times you have failed in life. When you become successful, when a woman has a miscarriage 50 times and she gives birth the 51st time, nobody will ask her how many times you had miscarriage. We don't care. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I had that song years ago. We went to sing in a church. And while they were singing it, they were laughing. That song entered my spirit till today. Tell yourself I am somebody. It's time to stop this false humility and start believing in what God, this is what koinonia is all about. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Partnership with him to shake the world. I would never, if, if I tell myself I am not great, I'm lying. It's not humility, it's foolishness. Say, I am great. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Say, the world will testify that I am great. Say, the world will testify that I am great. Say, I will walk at it. I may cry, but I will walk at it. It will cost me, but I will walk at it. Understanding. You are paying the price. Some of you will be mighty women of God. As you are looking at me, you, you, God has already shown you. It does, you, are, you are wondering, how shall these things be like Mary? He said, thou art favored, thou, how did he even put it, that salutation? Hail Mary, mother of grace. He said, thou art favored among other women. She said, what meaneth these salutations? How shall these things be? Don't, you don't need to ask how it shall be. Let me tell you, 
whether you are a mother here, whether you are a father, whether you are a sister, a brother, young or old, at any level, if you can allow God to take a hold, I have found my servant David. And with my holy oil, I have anointed him. What has God given you? I'm speaking to you. What has God given you? Oh, God has given you leadership. Take it to the extreme. Let that gift make room for you. God has given you grace for ministry. Take it to the extreme. God has given you business acumen. Stand up and establish those conglomerates. Don't let no devil talk nonsense to you. Let the employment of Nigeria not threaten you. Tell yourself I will arise. I will create jobs. Thousands of jobs. You can be a lady and God is telling you. You are entering into the finance world. Don't sit down and let people call you a weaker vessel. It's time to begin to silence those demonic voices. You've never held 10,000 of your money, so what? Your gift will bring for you something your entire family did not hold. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Everybody close your eyes just in one minute before we pray. Close your eyes where you are. And just begin to meditate in one minute. I'd like you to begin to see yourself the champion that God has made you. I like you to begin to see yourself solving the problems of mankind. You are an ambassador. See yourself shaking away the limitation of your culture. See yourself shaking away that limitation. Who told you you cannot get there? I'm speaking to your spirit. Just close your eyes and meditate. I have found my servant David. I have a gift. I have an ability given by God. I have an ability. Men may not understand it now. Men may not understand it now. It's still in the process of refining. It's still in the process of refining. But when God is done with you, my sister, I tell you, although you cannot speak good English now, I am telling you, when that gift is done, you will stand near scholars and it will be an honor for them to stand with you. Yes, I know you came from the village. Yes, I know you came from the village. You've not afforded a good meal. But who told you that gift cannot take you? I'm speaking to you. Yes, you have not gotten admission. You wrote jam 20 times. But who told you that gift cannot rise up? I'm speaking to you. Yes, your wire didn't work well. Yes, you started that business and failed. But who told you that anointing is not in you? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't care what has happened. Yes, it is. Who told you that that anointing, the first day you prayed for a sick person, the person was not healed. In fact, he died. But God told you you have been called to take his healing power to the nations. Do you believe it? There are many of you that are, are TV hosts. God is taking you to do mighty things. Some of you are beauticians. Some of you are mighty men and women. Joshua the high priest stood before God. And Satan was there to accuse him. And he said, Satan, is this not a reed that I've taken out of fire? The Lord rebuke you. At any level you can start. Hear me tonight. I'm speaking to you. At any level you can start. Joseph, in one night, he slept as an ordinary slave. He woke up the next day and his gift made room for him. Somebody's gift will make room for him. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Now in the next five to ten minutes, please, if you want to scatter yourself around, I want you to pray. Let me tell you, if I, if I say prayer and I see some of you looking at me, I'll come and hold your hands and pray with you here. Please, if you are sleeping, wake up. We are finished. Wake up. It's time to pray. Inside and outside. There's no space for you inside. Go outside to pray. I want us to pray. The Bible says, This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy. Many of some of you don't know these giftings. You are going to pray and say, Lord, what did you put in me? What did you put in me? I'm tired of inferiority and complex. I'm tired of being thought out of as a second class person. What did you put in me for your glory? That's prayer point number one. Lift your voice right now and begin to pray. 
Come on now, Koinonia. You won't pray like this. You won't pray like this. Shekata bakata prekata bela de bokoso pata. Shekata prekata prekata bokoso pakata. Ma prakata pakata. Lord, what is that treasure? What do I have in my house? Shekete kete pokoto pada pa. Young and old, pray, 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 pray. Sekete prekete ke pekete ke to pokoso pata. Rekete proske pai. Maka prakata. Lekoto proske bariata. A prokoto pekete pekete bananaba. Make sure you are praying. Lord, what is that gift? What is the rod of God in my hand? I'm tired of trying to look like everybody. I'm tired of trying to talk like everybody. Koinonia, pray. Shekete te kosopeka. Shembrekete keposha. Rekete proskope ekotoriata mambro to zekete rekete bosa Lord show me my uniqueness show me he said call on to me and I will answer I will show you I will show you I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Come on, Koinonia, pray. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. My father did not see it. My mother did not see it. Show me, oh God. There is a generation waiting for a revelation of the glory of God that is in me. Kapate prekete koto prekete. Pray, pray. You came here tonight to pray. What do you have in your house? What do you have? Where is that ability that can make you stand anywhere that will also give you a seat among the great? Going on here, pray. I don't like the way some of you are praying. Come on, pray. Kate pokoto pekete. Sekete te pokotosa. Rekete kete pokosopa. Rapaka prosa kaya. Ma proskopedia. Contend in the spirit. Every power of darkness that wants you not to discover that gift in you, the Lord rebuke it. Pray. It will come out. It will come out. It will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Forget about where you are now. Forget about where you are today. Forget about what you don't have. Forget about what has happened. Pray. Pray. Invest into your tomorrow. Invest into your tomorrow. What is it, oh God? I call unto you. He said, Call unto me. I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things. He will show you in a dream, He will show you in a vision. It will show you through prophetic confirmation. It will show you through your passion. It will show you through your desires. Rekete kete prokoto balanaba. Rapa kata prekesa. Em protoko preke. Elekete proskoparia. Ma pokoto prekete. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. The gift that will end poverty in my lineage. Show me that gift that will end poverty show me that gift that will bring my family to greatness show me that gift
Alléluia. Alléluia. Prayer point number two. You're going to speak and say, Lord, I receive a baptism of diligence to refine and develop my gifts. Are you hearing me? Some of us, hear me? Some of us, you need to reduce your time of pointless visitations. Going to go and meet friends and gossiping and discussing about things that have no bearing to your future. Are you hearing me? You're going to see whether it is in the rain, in the sun, you're going to tell yourself, I may cry, I may weep, I may not look fine now as I'm doing it, but I'm ready. Hear me? Some of you by this prayer, you will need to cut away from godless and unserious friends. Well, hold on. I'm speaking to some of you because for some of you, it is your friends and your company that are keeping you from being great. Your, this friend thing, love is a command, association is not. There's nobody that says you must have many friends to show you are making progress in life. They may gossip about you. They may misunderstand you. Don't worry. When you become great, it will settle the matter. Are you hearing me? You are going to pray now and say, Lord, diligence. The Bible says, see thou a man diligent in his business. He shall not stand before mean men. He shall stand before kings. Lift your voice and pray. Diligence to fast. Diligence to pray. Diligence to study. Day and night. Diligence to read books. Diligence to listen to tapes. Diligence to go for workshops. Keto be ketosa. Rekoto leke prosketia. I receive a baptism. A fresh baptism. A fresh baptism. A fresh baptism. Are you praying, Koinonia? Are you praying? Leke teke teke lebosh. Leke pro sekete lebosha. Ma prosko sekete bosha. Rekete lekosia. Pray. Say I break free from ungodly movies. Ungodly associations. Ungodly places. For the sake of my destiny. I pay the price. I pay the price. I saw the seed. I may weep, but I saw the seed. I can't be a failure in life. Shake it, go to break it, bolo suba. Break it, broske take it, leba. I'm break kotoshka, rakata leko sopa. Yes, you are praying your way to greatness. You are praying your way to greatness. You are praying your way to prosperity. You are praying your way to generational blessings. You are praying your way to extraordinary impact. My sister, pray, 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 pray. Haleka prosekete. Forget about your failures and pray. Forget about your failures and pray. Say, Lord, I will start again. I used to set goals before, but now I'm backsliding. I used to watch videos every day. I used to listen to DVDs, but now I'm backsliding. But tonight, tonight, a baptism, fresh grace. I won't give up. I won't give up. Come on now. Arise. Let your dreams arise. Refuse to give up. God is faithful. Refuse to give up. Go back again. Do it again. Shake it. Make sure as you are receiving tonight. Hear me. Every one of us is representing at least a family. Are you listening to me? 
He said, as for me and my house, they didn't call all of them one by one. Somebody stood in the gap. As for me, that terminal disease eating your father or your mother, it can bow this night. Because the Bible says, wherefore God has so highly exalted him. He said, and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, what will happen? How many knees? How many knees? Help me. How many knees? HIV, cancer. Every knee must bow. The knee that will not bow this night has not been created. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. Question. Where was the handwriting written? There are handwritings, ordinances of darkness. Nothing happens to you until you get to a certain age. Suddenly, some things begin to happen. Some of you, as you are sitting, looking at me and hearing me outside, you are being molested by all kinds of things. You are sleeping in the night. All kinds of devilish things oppressing you. You are afraid. Nobody knows. See, this night, let me tell you, just humble yourself and open up your spirit. Are you hearing me? Keep your whatever it is and say, Lord, do something in my life this night. Hallelujah. Demonic things. The devil and his assaults joining the heads of people Playing with people's destinies. There are many of you. You and your, you know this. You and your, you are perpetually living under a close heaven. But this is why the Lord brought you tonight. The name Miracle Service, we would have called it Worship Service. Miracle Service was given by God. Are you hearing me? It was just it was not just a name that was formulated it's a miracle service and your faith your faith is that connecting pipe to the power of god kenny said something but was it kenny or, or or pastor jakes now that said something very powerful he said make sure that this night you are not watching other people some of you like watching other people some of you even came because of what you had some of you are critics. You just came to verify a lot of things. Some of you came with a sincere desire. Some of you came sluggishly because you like a lady and she said, I'm going for koinonia. I said, oh, love does everything. Let me tell you something. Redefine your priority this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of you are coming as usual. Some of you are coming because you are workers. He said, he that cometh unto him must believe. First that he exists. And then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him i came here with an open heart i began to tell the lord from home i said lord i'm the first person the bible says the husband man shall be the first partaker and so i told the lord before you begin to touch the people i'm not being selfish hallelujah don't stand watching people and say why are they praying like this why are they jumping like this and celebrating God? You can get up, we will share the grace and you will go back. You will be watching. This is, this is the reason why a lot of people think miracles are fake because they have never gotten one. Every time people are open, say how can a beautiful sister like this be rolling on the ground praying and say God visit me. You are carrying your dignified self and God will pass you and touch somebody. And then at the end of it, you see people celebrating miracles and breakthroughs. Testimony is coming and you say it's not true. Why is it that there are only specific people? This thing is stage managed. If you open up your heart, that's what God told Cain. Cain was complaining why Abel was receiving breakthroughs and he was not receiving. God said, if you do what Cain did, will your sacrifice not be accepted? Participate in the meeting this night. Follow instructions diligently. When they say lift up your hands and say amen. Don't say please this lifting up of hands. This is the problem. Say my story must change this night. Say it from your heart. My story must change this night. Say Lord. I know you are alive. 
I know you are powerful. I know you are able to visit my life, visit the works of my hands, visit my health, visit my family. And this night, I place a demand by faith that I will truly receive. Can I tell you something? If your heart is not open to receive, it's better to go home. You can do something meaningful with your time. You can go and read the Bible or do something else. But I advise you this night, don't be among the spectators. If you don't have an expectation, carefully think about it. There's no crime not having one. But get one. So that you are not in confusion. The Bible said, give us this day our it didn't say give us this day what we need. That's too ambiguous. Give us when? Specific time, specific need. Our what? That's what he wanted. Daily bread. So Lord, give me this day, this change of genotype. Give me this day, a change of result. Give me this day, a story. Lift my head, oh God. Let somebody know that a giant can arise from your family. There are some of you like Gideon. You are, your family is the least. And you are the least in your family. And you are busy hiding. This night the Lord is speaking to you. What are you doing on the ground? Almighty oh, man of failure. Do you not know who you are in Christ? Redemption offers us an opportunity. To rise and reign like kings. Are you hearing me? He said awake thou that sleepest. And Christ will give you light. As that reign of glory comes. Some of you, what you need tonight is an upgrade of grace. The grace you have is there. But you have gotten to the limit of it. There are certain dimensions. Hear me, let me tell you something. See, grace is in levels. The Bible says he measured a thousand cubits. Is that true? Measured another thousand cubits. Those will open to you according to the degree of grace. Let me tell you the truth. It's not everything that is possible for everybody. Are you hearing me? I told you we are all equal in Christ, but we are not equal in grace. The prophet's servant took the rod, the same rod, went and laid it on the dead body. Nothing happened. Is that true? But the prophet came and did it. See, that it is not possible for you does not mean it's not possible in Christ. But tonight, Jesus himself the Bible says, and if I be lifted up, tonight we have exalted him with all the worship. Christ is lifted up. You cannot come to his presence and those chains and shackles. And they bound Samson. Some of us have been bound by limitations, by mindsets. The Bible says, but the hand of the Lord came upon Samson and that rope became like wax. Like wax. Many of you will shake out of some things this night. Some of you have been thrown into the den of the lion. And people have forgotten about you. But can I tell you something? Your enemies will call your name and you will answer. You will say, I'm alive. I got into that dungeon. But before then, that Shekinah of God that preserves men. You will come out strong. Come out wise. Come out powerful come out full of grace and tell them I have a testimony I know what it means to go to the valley of the shadow of death but God who can take a man from a dung hill the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon tonight many of you will activate breakthroughs God will connect you let me tell you something listen to me the Holy Ghost gave me a revelation some time ago he said God is called the father of spirits. Have you ever known the meaning of that name? That means every spirit is subject to him. When the disciples came in Luke, in the book of Luke, they said, they came rejoicing, saying, Master, even the demons were subject to us through thy name. And Jesus said, do not just rejoice because the spirits. So he's called the father are you listening to me? The chief, the captain, above every spirit, including the spirit of your destiny helpers. 
and so if the father of spirits moves he can move any spirit hear me the bible says nebuchadnezzar did not sleep that night he got up by himself he said oh daniel has your god been able to save you may my god reveal himself as the father of spirits over certain families the father of spirits every spirit listen herbalists understand this principle they can enter their coven there's what they call summoning the spirits of people is that true while they are sleeping they summon your spirit and the spirit of the person comes to the coven they are trying to mimic god god is the lion satan roars like the lion tonight god will summon the spirits of men let me tell you the truth and compel them to bless you hallelujah he said look up to abraham your father and unto sarah that bear thee for i called him out alone i blessed him and i increased him i called him alone this night is not you and your neighbor i know you are going out together just leave that thing for a while now are you hearing me it's not the issue of me and my neighbor or me and my family members oh, oh this guy is our neighbor in new extension forget about that thing i know mother came with father but forget about that thing and say lord i will not let you go i will not let you go i will not let you go until something in my spirit breaks open i will not let you go i will not let you go i'm provoking you to get angry tonight because what you are about to lift listen when you watch weightlifters as they lift weights before they lift it you see them shouting they are getting themselves angry well because when they are angry an ability they cannot explain comes this is what i'm doing to you when i fire your faith every unbelief that came with your situation i know you trekked from town to come here but can i tell you something god is able to change the story of a man tonight let's see that demonic report that says you will not bear a child let's see that demonic report that says you are fibroid and that you will be pregnant let me tell you the truth my bible tells me god opened the womb of leah god opened the womb of rachel it is god that opens a door that no devil can shut and he can shut a door that no devil can open Revelation 3 verse 8 he said behold I know that you have little strength yet you have kept my word he said behold I set before you I set before you hallelujah we had a very touching testimony over the week of the favor of God hallelujah someone called us and a very professional web designer from Gombe State is the one that he designs for state governments their websites and he just called us he said koinonia messages have been blessing him opening him to dimensions in the spirit he said he has been stepping into new levels in his career and he said please I want to transport myself, foot my bill, lodge myself, and come and build a free website for the ministry. And I want to train the media team on how to maintain it, everything free of charge. How can you explain this? See, listen, listen. I don't say this thing. See, let me tell you something. We tell testimonies because the testimony of Jesus, that means a testimony that was initiated by the spirit of the Christ is a spirit of prophecy meaning it has in itself the ability to compel you to desire it and see it happen in your life hallelujah the testimony of Jesus the spirit of prophecy don't sit down there and say can it happen 
you are seeing what God you cannot belong to a ministry that is carrying certain levels of grace and it's not working in your life get angry this night get angry he said I and all the children that the Lord has given me get angry when they saw the apostle they said he had been with Jesus Let me tell you this night don't you ever hear me don't you just leave him leave him don't you ever are you hearing me try to make satan make you think there is no hope that language of there is no hope is of the devil some of you are outside hear my voice because there are many voices speaking there are some voices telling you you will never marry ladies hear me some are saying because you live a past life look at how it is in your house what is your business with what has happened to Mr. ABC. The Bible says, a thousand shall fall by your side. Is that true? They fell near you. He said, another 10,000 by your right side. He said, none shall harm you. Some of you hear me. This night, I'm serious about this marriage thing. We are going to break this devilish yoke. Some of you have been laughing about it. If you don't take it serious this night, you will be surprised. You are just saying, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't get up and deal with it this night. The Bible says, The whole world lieth in wickedness. Don't let cartoons fool you. This world is not a playground. Are you hearing me? So when it's time to receive, make sure you receive. And the Lord is going to be restoring in this place. You lived a past life. You lost your womb. Who told you God has stopped creating? Read the book of Revelation. He said, for thou was slain. And you have received all things. He said, you have created. He said, they, they are and were created. They were created and are still being created. God did not stop creation. He only rested on the seventh day. When he rested on the seventh day, there was no need for recreation. When man spoiled things, he sent Jesus back. Let me tell you something. Remember not the former things. Are you hearing me? Tonight, don't let the devil say, even you, even you, that everybody knows you in your area to be a prostitute. So what? See, this is why when they came to the land of Jericho, because of the prophetic destiny, are you hearing me, of Rahab, he said kill everything plus the animals so that there will be no trace to our history because she was going to be the great grandmother of jesus he said destroy everything of the past tonight let me tell you something everything whether your mistakes whether your carelessness of the past the bible says remember not the former things how many of us are ready to receive tonight let me give you a few seconds right now. I'd like you to think on the things you want God to do for you. Please, don't be mechanical about this. We are not doing jamboree this night. Think very well. Know what you want God to do. If his husband, say husband. Don't say a man. If his wife, say wife. If his breakthrough, say Lord, my heavens are short. If it's finances, say finances. If it's your ministry that is dying, no growth, say, oh God, measure a thousand cubits this night. Any area of your life, terminal disease, infections, lump in your breast, cancer, whatever it is, just believe God. Don't say we have been coming I came the last time I didn't receive. Master, we have told all night, they said. He said, nevertheless, this night, I die well. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute. Exercise your spirit, man. Outside, I'm telling you, I see a cloud outside. A mighty cloud. A mighty cloud the Lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside God will do mighty things outside 
pray in one minute cry out your expectation to God go ahead forget about your neighbor talk to the Lord say Lord you know that you are my last hope this night you are my last hope in this place if you do not help me there is no help again if you do not save my family if you don't change our story then let it be that there is no God but I have no option again pray that demon spirit assaulting your destiny pray enough is enough that yoke of bad luck pray Christ has redeemed you by faith tonight you will enter into the experience Christ has paid the price you don't need to pay it again but it takes faith to enforce that which Christ has done the price has been paid it will not be paid this night that ultimate price Yes, Lord. not just a song listen to what you are saying listen to what you are saying your hands everybody inside and outside I truly hail you most high I hail you most high I truly hail hail you Hallelujah. Hear me. The power of God is present in this place mighty. And God is going to be fishing out people and families. Hear me. Some of you will stand in for your family. Every yoke of darkness. Every curse. Every the power of God is already moving every curse outside i want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout jesus hear me the fire of the Holy Ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way. Especially outside. There will be mighty deliverances for you, for your family members. 
every oppression it will bow tonight because upon mount zion there shall be deliverance lift up your hands thank you father take over this meeting right now holy spirit take over this meeting take over this meeting do mighty things i give you all the glory at the count of three hear me i confront gates i confront powers in the name that is above all names out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house at the count of three every devil i speak from the realm of the spirit and i confront altars by the fire of the holy ghost you will bow at the count of three one two three shout jesus that devil of darkness come out let god's people go free outside the fire of the holy ghost bring them out bring them out every act of witchcraft every act of divination every act of sorcery let the fire fall i expose every power of darkness right now right now right now outside outside there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way bring them out Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. No enchantment. No divination against Jacob shall stand. Surely they shall gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, this night they will scatter. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands again. Outside. Hallelujah. Hear me. Those of you outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. God is not done with you. Please, pick them and bring them. Many of it will be a mass deliverance. Are you hearing me? Just those outside. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Is the name above all names. Yokes are breaking. Spells are breaking. Yokes are breaking. Yokes are breaking. is the fire of the Holy Ghost 
It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, angels are still moving. Outside, it's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right at the back, right to the back. Lord, let no devil, let no devil stand your presence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. It's the baptism of fire. No devil will stand when in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just living. Living. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, you will leave them complete deliverance. No hiding. Let the word of God search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. There be no hiding place. At the count of three, under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 come out come out come out and return no more come out come out come out and return no more. Come out. Come out. There's no hiding place. Come out. There's fire upon every devil. Fire. Shake it. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. There's no hiding place. There's no hiding Listen, as this is happening to you, I want you to know that this is happening in your family too. Are you hearing me? This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now. Out. Hallelujah.
Let me pray for this lady. See, I'm seeing horns. Horns, this is what I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Right now, I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. You're a wicked, foul devil of darkness. Just lay your hands on her head. In the name of Jesus. Now, come out, thou devil of darkness. There's no hiding for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This curse of darkness is gone from this lady. Hallelujah. Ulcer. If you have ulcer, lift your hands. Anybody. Ulcer. Please. You're going to be healed now. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Now we'll take some instant testimonies. Hallelujah. We'll take some instant testimonies. Because of time, we usually don't do that. But we'll just to encourage a few people. Lift your hands inside and outside. You're suffering from peptic ulcer. It will go now. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands as I rebuke that spirit. Some of you have wounds. Those wounds will close up now. Now, not later on. Just leave them. God is not done with them until he's done. Brother, look at me. You're a great man, but let me tell you, you didn't come out for yourself. You came out for your family. Where are you from? Not where you're coming from. Edo State. Edo State. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's cola knot in the middle. Are you listening to me? So God is setting you free. You believe that? Let me pray for you for your family. Out now! Those altars of darkness be gone forever. Please don't be quick to carry them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, ulcers. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers inside and outside. Be healed now. Start checking yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. Check. Check. The moment you see a notable miracle. Um... Maybe we'll have a few, I don't know, maybe at the back, one or two people. The ministers who verify them will take one or two testimonies. The Lord is showing me, who is Hanatu? Hanatu, Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now, don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu? Your name is Han you. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness. Spell and yokes of bondage. Let our family go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is not just delivering the family. God is anointing this young man. God will do mighty things. Take the anointing. You will become a mighty man of God. Mighty man of God. Hallelujah. Sister, this lady, come please quickly open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain I'm hearing the name grace look at me who is grace I'm hearing the name grace your friend your church member we need to pray for grace because death wants to take her life are you hearing me grace that's i'm just flowing as the holy spirit is helping me but then the lord is going to visit you in three things see listen to me number one i the lord always shows me these things because i'm seeing marital issue are you married, no, sir. You married? do you know me have i met with you the lord wants to solve that issue right now because you're looking pretty on the outside are you hearing me but i'm seeing shadow that's the only thing i'm seeing as your face in the spirit there is no form just shadow but the lord is going to set you free number two who is doing a building project me. a building 
did you tell me this is the second thing God is going to do? Supernatural grace to complete the building project. Are you listening to me? Number three, God is blessing you in the area of business. I'm hearing business. Who does business? I do business. Are you sure? Don't just say yes or are you very sure? Shoes and bags. Okay, you are going to see an escalation in your business. Three th these three things. Hold my hands. Father, that yoke of bondage, I break her free from it right now. Ah, what is this thing that I'm seeing again? Do you know what I'm seeing? I'm not seeing a woman, I'm seeing a man. See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences. This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Your son name is Beatrice. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Please let's hurry up. Your son name is Beatrice. When you have that person, please let him come out. Hallelujah. Now, if you have problem with your ears, please, we have to be fast. Ears, whether one side or if you came with anybody inside and outside, you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf, please put your hands there right now. Put your hands right there. Some of you feel like water in your ears. Just put your hands. Please, as you're receiving miracles, some of you, I'm not mentioning your case. Just walk out, Bishop Stan and Pastor Jakes are outside. Take the courage to walk out now. Go and drop your testimony. Hallelujah. We are going to take one or two of them. The ministers are at the back. Hallelujah. They are standing. Even if the miracle has started, they will perfect it. Look at me. Come. See. Brother, come. Where were you sitting? Outside. At the back. Hold on. What happened to you? coming here for like very well but I've not felt anything so I put on my heart what happened what happened that's the question for you vibrate me I... see the Lord Jesus because even now God has not finished one of the things God is calling you it will be a time of preparation but God is calling you you're going to be a great teacher of the word are you hearing me you will teach the word very prophetically look at my eyes just look at my eyes spirit of revelation my God I pray the eye is the light of the body let something happen to this brother let there be a straight line from Genesis to Revelation I impart upon you just look at my eyes you're receiving a mighty impartation Hallelujah. Please go outside. God is visiting people. I'm seeing some, someone healed. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast is getting healed right now. Right now. The moment it is your case, celebrate God. Check it and go out. Celebrate it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is a outside. A lady is healed. Lump in the breast. Your right breast. Outside. There's healing going on right now. A lump in the breast. Outside. A lady is being healed lump in the breast is going hallelujah now blood disease blood disease i want to pray for blood disease whether hepatitis hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now whether it is hepatitis hiv aside from genotypes we'll pray for genotypes differently hallelujah but any other blood disease, please lift your hands quickly. Quickly, please lift your hands. Want to rebuke that devil. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you're lifting your hands, lift it because the power of God will come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, blood disease be healed. Be healed right now. Inside and outside, be healed. HIV virus 
die now in the name of Jesus sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia die right now please can we get another mic hallelujah okay let's just take one hallelujah so sir um this lady had been suffering from asthma for a long time and also sorry for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact right now she's lost her voice hallelujah because god healed her wife standing outside the moment man of god said that people with ulcer god is touching them right now god touched and she was healed she began to shout and she's lost her voice hallelujah can you shout for us shout. praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord please as more miracles are happening don't just come out here to testify please now i want to pray for a woman you came you have pains it's, it's an elderly woman something i don't know if it's a growth or something please who is that please and please let's save time god is healing people right now and then i'm seeing watch this this part you're feeling sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall your bone here come out you're a lady you're a lady god is showing me the lady is holding a baby this is what i'm seeing you are holding a baby whether it's your child who is that please holding a baby oh you are holding a baby where is the baby was she holding a baby because come open the flood gates of heaven where's where's the pain this is the baby this is the baby come madam you will be healed right now look at me you, you can see her limping who can see her limping can you see her limping can you see her limping madam hold my hands you believe in the power of the holy spirit lay your hands on her which of them which of them where's the pain what happened just like that that devil will leave you right now because there is a name lord jesus thank you amen come match your legs go ahead go ahead match look at look at this look at this look at this is there any pain are you feeling any pain just a little go ahead just match in the name of jesus christ now check it walk walk and come walk and come jump look at look at this give jesus a shout of praise open the heavens let it ministering to me just leave her five months you are a lady here you have not seen your period for five months five months you have not seen your period you've shared it with a few friends right now this night this night i know there are lady ushers they'll help you hallelujah all kinds of menstrual issues it will disappear it will disappear right now open the floor gates of heaven as soon as i pray for you take her to the restroom you will check yourself right now right now that yoke of bondage be free now by the power of the holy ghost there's the fire of the holy ghost please take her please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed she's not the only one there will be miracles there are more miracles coming celebrate jesus christ please can we have another mic so that pastor jakes is there another mic okay it's here please just go to the back Go to the back. Yes. Hallelujah. His brother's name is Dennis. 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 And while standing here, when the man of God said, she lift up her hands, and those that had ulcers, she lift up your hands. God is healing ulcer. He actually had ulcer, and it translated into asthma. Hallelujah. 
and while lifting up his hands, what happened? Praise the Lord. This is my first time to come here and it leads to asthmatic. Hallelujah. As the man of God says, like, if you have as uh, if you have ulcer, and I believe he's going to he's going to be healed. And as I lift up my hand, I'm having chest, chest pain. Hallelujah. But now I'm not feeling anything. It's just as cool as breathe, as breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Go Hallelujah. ahead. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. Any problem. No problem. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. My grain headache has just been healed. My grain headache has been healed now. My grain headache. Please check yourself. My grain headache. My grain headache has been healed. Make sure you just rush down to the back. My grain headache. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My grain headache has been healed. Now, please listen. There's someone you wake up in the morning. Your heart area here. Your heart area pains you. It's as if your heart is tearing. When you wake up early in the morning, this thing has been happening for a long time. Who is that person? Your heart. Just, just this. You cannot even sleep on that side. Because when you rest on that side, you have serious problems. This is not the only one. I'm seeing a lady. You're a young lady. You're a young lady. Open the floodgates. Mama, do, does she understand English? Who brought her? Mama? Okay. What? Selena is an uh, official outside interpreter. Ask her what's wrong with her. Break it down, Mama. Her hand and her legs. Her hand. Everything. This is C. The devil once is supposed to be from her head down. This is stroke. Are you seeing? This is stroke that the devil wants to bring. Tell her right now. She will, she's going to be healed and she will dance. Miracles. Look at the lady who just came. Hallelujah. You need to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While standing here worshiping God, she said she's had menstrual pain for a long, long time. Hallelujah. The pain had been there and while Apostle ministered to her, something remarkable happened. You want to hear? Hallelujah. Please, we need a lady to touch her stomach. She said because she were pains, so we need somebody to verify. Now the pains are gone. Yes. The pains are gone. Any pain? Hallelujah. Please celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Check yourself. Don't just stand waiting. Check yourself. God is doing miracles. Even if you are outside, just Bishop and Pastor Jax are at the back. Mama, tell her. God is going to heal her right now. Ask her, does she believe? Tell her to hold my hands. The Lord Jesus sets you free. That devil, gone, pain, gone, come up. Tell her to come up and march. It's gone. It's gone. Look at this. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of heaven? Let it rain. Let it rain. Hold on. How does she feel? Is this still is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain. Mama, let's match. Can you dance? Play any song for her. Look at look at somebody who could not stand well. What kind of song do they sing? You, you people should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You people don't know one house song. Annie, give us one house song. Come on, dance, celebrate Jesus.
outside a hole in the teeth has been closed outside a hole in the teeth check yourself a hole in the teeth a hole in the teeth it has been paining you check you find out it has is gone right now right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay Okay, repain. It's my heart. Each and every moment when I wake up in the morning, it's like it shifts and it aches really for a while now. While this moment, while I was standing right here, when this woman just received her healing, I felt it just happened immediately. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Please, if you're healed, just walk right at the back. The Lord is showing me another miracle one eye the left eye of somebody outside god is really visiting people outside the left eye you don't see well with it there's you see like an image intercepting your eye is gone right now please check it what was she okay lay your hands there thank you jesus for your healing power gone check yourself See, the anointing does not just come. Check yourself. Please don't, don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes. No. If it doesn't happen, say it. We'll pray for you here. Check yourself. Check yourself very well. Do what you couldn't do. Can you? Any pain? I'm still waiting for the lady. Someone. The, I think. The, did I say left or right now? Breast lump. Breast lump is gone. It's gone. Check it. Don't, don't wait. Check, check and go outside. Pastor Jakes is there. They are busy verifying people's cases. Inside or outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, um, this is very interesting. There's a family here that has been suffering delay. And God is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way. Wait, 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 wait. Listen. The power of God is going to carry the person from where he is. The person will run out here with such speed. This is a sign that this is what God is doing. Hallelujah. This is what the sign that God gave me. This is very interesting. The way the Holy Spirit walks sign and wonders here. From outside, from outside, the power of God will pick the person. He will run with the spirit of Elijah. It's from outside. Lord, let it happen according to your word. I give you praise and I give you glory. You will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit it's a sign that this is what god is doing please let's continue before the person comes out you will come out certainly this is the word of the lord now i'm seeing a baby that is sick you came with a baby that is sick please who is the person the baby cries in the night please hurry up quickly because Pastor Jakes will still come up here and Bishop Stan. Ah, whatever mountain will not has not answered to it will answer to you this night. Who is this? This is the baby that is sick. What's wrong with her? Uh, in 2000. Open the floodgates of heaven. 2003. She was sick, so we took her to the hospital and we transfused her. After them, she was... One more person again, this same experience. For one more person outside, one more person outside. It's going to happen again. One more person by the power and the influence of the Spirit. This is a sign and a wonder. God is restoring delaying families. The power of God will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed. Let's listen. 
transfused her and after what did they say is wrong with her the doctor confirmed that she has HIV with the transfusion of blood she has HIV that's what the doctor confirmed that what HIV positive. That devil is a liar. Come, my dear. Look at me. What's her name? How can a girl bear the name Favor and still have HIV? You see how demonic Satan is? The Bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation. A lady, this is like Jabez, but tonight, like the prayer of Jabez, he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Hallelujah. You will go and test her. You will come back with a testimony. We will change it. HIV is a spirit. And it will bow. Sweetheart, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Yeah. Just leave her. And test her. She's free. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? There's another mighty miracle. Another mighty miracle. I tell you, God is doing wonders in this place tonight. Listen. Hallelujah. Apostles is amazing. Listen. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the word of knowledge you gave about a woman, a lady outside with the, with the lump. Lump. The lady with the lump. Listen. How, okay, how long has it been? Please help us. Mm, for like two years. How long? Two years. Right now. It's gone. Yes. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. Lift your hands. Lord, let your power come upon her. You will perfect this right now. That which you have started, let it be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things. So if your miracle has started, Bishop is praying, Jake, they are praying. We are very serious. Don't go back. Don't go back. A wrist has just been healed feel a pain in fact there used to be like a growth check it it has disappeared check it right now it has disappeared check it it has disappeared check it god is doing mighty miracles check it it has disappeared hallelujah now i'm seeing a woman there are objects that move in your body serious objects it moves sometimes to your legs sometimes to your chest hallelujah right now as i pray you are going to be free and you find out that you are free you are feeling light please when that happens to you go down the ministers are seriously praying there father in the name of jesus this demonic thing this demonic thing this demonic yoke of darkness let it leave your body right now right now right now right now come my sister What's your name? Grace. Grace. When I was speaking to a lady here and I said, Grace, I was, my eyes was being fixed. Are you married? We are going to visit marriage issues now. Just get ready. We are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil. Are you hearing me? Marriage is a good thing. Say it. Again. Say it one more time. Every good and perfect gift. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? That means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where? I tell you the truth. God is going to visit marriages right now. Look at me. Men don't come to you. Anybody that comes, they just mock you. They run away. They do all of these things. Some even insult you. Can I tell you something? You are wonderfully and fearfully made. I hope you know that God does mighty marriage miracles in this place. 
So when we are talking about marriage, look at another miracles are happening. Like I tell you, there is an open heaven. And this is what happens once there is praise. Please make sure the, the mic is set. Let's take this testimony. Yes, sir. Come, sister. Hallelujah. Apostle, when you gave a word for the woman, you said somebody's something was moving. In Movement her. in her body. Yes, exactly. She's this is the person she movement she had an accident some days ago and since then she's been having funny movement movement in, in your body even standing here in the meeting she was still having that any movement right now in your body lay your hands on your on your stomach no not on your stomach not your legs thank you jesus christ Amen, sir. jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus You're free, completely free. Give Jesus a big hand. Sister, I'm going to put, look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Yes, sir. Eh? Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm saying? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Do you know me? Did we discuss this? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing chalk. Chalk, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? Okay, you did promise me they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? This one is oppression. No, this one is not just. Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go. Thou devil of darkness. Release her right now. With a mighty shout. Go. Go. If there is a woman here, you've suffered barrenness or a man, anything that you have not given birth, come out here quickly. Please, quickly, quickly. Bishop is still coming and Jakes, we have to hurry up. There's a big that will happen here. Please, come out quickly. You, you must be married though, except if you are standing for somebody. Don't be emotional about it, please, please. Be looking at your neighbor. If you are from the same place, go back. Somebody has come to represent another person. We will have miracle children in this place. Look at, look how many people, the devil is stopping them from enjoying. I mean, some of them are standing in for their loved ones. Look at, look at this, look at this. It looks like they are coming out to give offering. But this is, this is, lack of, lack of, children you see the relevance of meetings like this listen to me who is standing for herself or for himself for yourself for yourself come here please quickly those who are standing for others this way for yourself look at me are you together She's your wife? Oh, both of you are standing for yourself. Where's your husband? He traveled. I'm seeing a baby girl. Go and write it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. See, let me tell you. Sister, look at me. You will come back here with your baby girl and testify. You believe that? Lord, confirm your word with power right now. Thank you, Jesus. You are set free. You're on his marriage. Why didn't you wait? The guy just said, okay. No, 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 no. Don't see, don't laugh. It doesn't mean you should do it anyway, but don't laugh. He's coming out. Look at me. You believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage, yeah? When when are you when is the wedding? Eh? Hold my hands. According to the time of life, I speak to you under the unction of the spirit. Before the end of this month, 
you will be in a very godly, serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God. Father of spirits, connect them. You are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Wow, mighty miracles again are happening. You too, you, for yourself, lay your hands on your stomach. Because I'm seeing something else. What did the doctor say? PIV. What? PIV. Whatever that means. Well, we shall know this is not from God, whatever it is. PID, PID. We'll pray, whatever it is. And see, look at me. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. At least the men don't understand. Some of them, but the ladies, you understand what she said, Abi? Do you understand or not? We are going to pray. Look at me. It will go and you will give birth to a lot of children. What will stop you is discipline, not lack of... Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish your husband were here oh, because he's not only you I'm supposed to pray for. Where is he? Just pray for him. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. Father, perfect her. The power of God is coming upon you. And that devilish thing is leaving you right now. Return with testimonies. Return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's hear Pastor Jakes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two this of her teeth. Two of her teeth. Had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at sorry i this is bad viewers discretion i'm sorry don't feel bad we are disciplined people but just so that we we'll celebrate god check no hole look at this no hole i can't see any hole here there was your teeth was removed two teeth two teeth was removed who knows her who knows her is it true that the teeth was removed who is that yes yes it's, it's true you are sure of that Dockers. her name is Dorcas. Look at, and the teeth has been filled supernaturally. Give Jesus a big, Hallelujah. big hand, big hand, big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Now, all of you that are standing for any, see, if you are standing for anybody, when you go back, send the person a text and say, I just stood in for you now, believe and receive. Are you hearing me? Send them a text. Don't let them roam around. You are here suffering to stand in for them. They are not connecting again. Hallelujah. And because you are standing here, it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness. I hope you know that. The Bible says, and when Job prayed for his friends, God turned his own captivity. Job 42 verse 10 and 11. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Look at as many people. Lift your hands. Some of you, the power of God will come upon you on behalf of the people there my god children the bible says are a heritage from the lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidences that jesus is alive right now i pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of Jesus be lifted now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. Every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness. If they don't have womb, we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
return back rejoicing send them a text that they have been prayed for and let me tell you see listen hold on hold on there are some who take in but lose the child is that true lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in they take in one month two months they just wake up in the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it i pray no more miscarriage in the name of jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please go back rejoicing god bless you hallelujah pastor jakes bishop stand please come please come they'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes hallelujah i know that there are areas that they'll minister to you while that is happening pass the prayer request please this is a time for god to visit your case please as you are passing it be praying in tongues as you are passing it be praying in tongues say lord this is it my time has come if they didn't call you your prayer point will call your case now hallelujah god bless you sir pastor jake so just minister by the grace of god and then bishop stand sir please write your prayer request quickly in the Lord for and Lord communicates to me for some of you especially God will touch you hmm. God's going to be touching some of you especially what you've desired from him specifically so some of you God is going to be activating some anointing upon your life an unusual kind of anointing hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head. There are people, the Lord will be pouring it upon your head. Parido fine dam gros tiki van tahi. Lingo su pratica tare boste. Randa kai. One of you, the anointing will be so heavy on your leg. Heavy, heavy. They will literally have to carry you out of this place. <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place. Blessing, blessing, God is blessing some people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessings, God is blessing you. Shika parada bando kosukara ba 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 ba. Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. Please, that person, it's a, is your pancreas. Just lay your hands on your stomach. You've been having unusual stomach pains. Your pancreas. I think pancreas should be in stomach, right? Pancreas, pancreas, pancreas. That's why I hear pancreas. 
Just lay your hands on your stomach. You've been having that problem. Right now, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release healing. Let healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord is going to be touching. You'll feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You'll feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us, and I don't know, there might be more than one. Um, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream. And when you are done eating that food, you become heavy. I don't mean physically, spiritually. Let me clear this. It's possible for God to do an impartation for you. It's possible for God to do an impartation for you in the dream by giving you food, angel's bread. It's a spiritual one. But this one I'm talking about, the devil ministers it to you in the dream. And when you are done eating it, you wake up and feel less spiritual. You feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit. If you are the one, I would like to pray with you. She's one of them. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. Go! In the name of Jesus. Go! Thank you, Father. I thank you in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I declare freedom. Freedom in the name of Jesus. You are free. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. He will minister to you. Who dropped this picture? What happened to the baby? It's dead. The baby was born crippled. That devil is a liar. What did they say? No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we'll be done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember, we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You are a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. And now as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around 
hopping around from man to man one army officer to another one one banker to another one and then say i don't have a husband no no the bible says come out from among them and be ye separate we are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal hallelujah praise the lord so as you are lifting up your hands make sure that you are making a commitment no sex before marriage don't let anybody deceive you i'm saying it straight to the point hallelujah no sex before marriage no caressing no all this nonsense that people do no don't don't open up yourself for demons you tie your soul with demonic things be sure that you are going to keep many christian relationships are not pure because a lot of people think everybody is doing it no not everybody is doing it who shall ascend to the hill of the lord who shall stand upon his own? so sister just get it straight don't say yes to any brother who plans to just if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait whatever is pursuing him let him carry it out of your life hallelujah i need to say this before i pray for you god is not a magician are you listening to me this is not a herbal center this is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles hallelujah so make sure as you are standing here to receive you are serious with god and you've been involved in all these things i'm talking about stop it this night stop it this night hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you lift your hands father you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness and father this night i pray for your people inside and outside and our online community i declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of jesus and i pray that anyone here who is under any yoke because there are some of you it's not just you all the ladies in your house some you notice that you marry almost at age 40. no matter what you do no matter how decent you are you will never just get a faithful man some of you is married men that keep chasing you as young as you are you can't get a godly brother you are coming to church you are serving in church the brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker and then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age who will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repato telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to be, this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this 
we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Jehovah, Father of all spirits, the great I am, may the subic release in Amakata Sata, Lisa Pata Shekabara, the one that divided the Red Sea, Lika Ziprata Shetebara. The one that released manna, Paul released manna from heaven, Jehovah. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I pray for miracles, miracles, miracles upon this prayer request. Miracles, visitations, miracles, visitation. Far above, far above what they have written. Far above, far above connection, completion perfections in the name of Jesus completions perfections in the name of Jesus miracles miracles visitation divine visitation Jehovah Jehovah miracle worker upon this request breathe upon it breathe upon it breathe upon it let there be miracles let your people testify in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jehovah. In Jesus' name, we pray. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We are a prosperous ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are a prosperous ministry mysteriously prosperous by the hand of God I believe in prosperity are you hearing what I'm saying I believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty you cannot help the poor by being one of them are you hearing me and I want to pray for you please believe lift your hands see listen the irrefutable laws of prosperity remains tithing kingdom investments and your givings they open the heaven and position you and then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas favor wisdom the blessings of God upon your hands strength and long life hallelujah I want to encourage everybody Please bring out a seed. I can't pray for you for prosperity just like that. Please. Please. This, if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing, just keep your seed. Please. This is not some. I won't help you. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not going to help you. It's not just about saying receive. No. Please. God has blessed you. You can help somebody by your side. Please. Bring out something that will cost you. Some of you are greedy and stingy. See, let me tell you something. I pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life. Many of you think God is out to rob. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. The secret of prosperity is giving. It will never change. There are many of you God has been speaking to you. You won't listen. I can't tell you how many times God has instructed me to empty my accounts. If you see, if your heart is still on prosperity, 
God will never give you. He said, my son, give me your heart. Until you conquer greed, you are not entitled to handle true riches. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please bring out a seed. Some of you will bring out something that will cost you. Let me tell you, don't pity yourself. Don't pity yourself at all. Don't make foolish, impulsive decisions. Are you hearing me? We are not manipulating people. Don't make stupid decisions that you come outside. And, no, no. Make Some of you, God is speaking to you right now. Some of you need to stand for your families. Honestly, honestly. See, if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed, it means we are fake. Something is wrong. Are you hearing me? I tell you, this, this prosperity oil, there is an oil. It will come upon some of you in a fearful way. Please, inside and outside, I beg you, if you don't have a seed, can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed? Please, connect. Allow the person to hold your hands. Don't feel bad. Please stand up, everybody. This is a very serious thing. Lift your hands and lift your seed. Hear me solomon there was a sacrifice upon the altar and solomon said oh god oh god attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond and the bible says the glory the shatina of god came and filled that room. i'm praying i'm praying see i tell you it 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 pains my heart it pains we want you the full gospel you must represent the kingdom in its entirety. We don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money. No. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please lift. Some of you, what will come upon you is the giving grace. Because honestly, for some of you, is greed. Greed. Even to yourself. Lift it up. I want to pray. Oh, God has given us this anointing. And I want to pray. My God, it will happen. It's going to come on like fire. It will fall on many of you. Please help me. My God, I pray. The oil of prosperity. The power to get wealth. At the count of three. My God, let it fall mightily. Right now, one. Two, three, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, shake it, take it, take it, take it. I activate it outside. I activate it. Let fire come upon your seed. I give your seed a voice in the spirit. It took a sacrifice. To put your family in poverty. We use this sacrifice. To bring them out of poverty. It took a sacrifice. To enter a covenant. Of poverty. We take this seed. And bring you. Into the realm of blessing. Psalm 66 verse 12. It said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through waters and through fire, but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. My God, you know we are not fake. We are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people. I pray, my God, I give your seed a voice and I instruct it, go around the earth Gather your kind and return back to the owner. I prophesy under this apostolic unction. I speak to your seed. Go around the earth. Gather your kind. Go around the earth. Gather your kind. Go around the earth. Gather your kind and return a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Please cast your seeds with joy quickly. Help me. Please bring the offering basket. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Finally, before the altar call, breakthroughs. There are families that need major breakthroughs. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, your, 
the way from the day they gave birth to you you have never celebrated entering a house that god gave your own family embarrassment after embarrassment every time they start a building project rain will wash it or something satanic will happen breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away lift your hands the bible says thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left thou shalt break forth please receive it some of you need to call your loved ones and say look a prayer was prayed there are some houses that have been built 10 years 10 years is a cost it's a cost i'm telling you there are some people they are they are lecturers but they are still begging for money to feed this is this is the yoke of bondage there are families that live from hand to mouth some of you as you are looking at me now you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family as young as you are it ought not to be so the bible says a good man liveth an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the god that brings breakthrough where is that god that changed the story of samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that god that instructed the prophet to say by this time my god and my king i pray for koinonia in the name of jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to abuja we send it to saria we send it to Kobe state we send it to lagos we send it to kaduna like the angel of death visited his home this night this night this night i speak this night let this anointing go to families and create the garden of eden let it create the garden of eden hallelujah hallelujah how many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors how many of you have noticed it have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens how many of you know it's not normal see the bible says they know not you do not know what is happening this night this night the angel of the lord will move across abu are you hearing me altars of darkness will be destroyed see this is why god put centers like this to legislate on behalf of territories the apostolic grace is not for making mouth is for taking charge it's a rule thou in the midst of your enemies the church is the light of the world the church cannot be here and things are happening if your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer i want you to lift your hands we want to prophesy that oil of exemption hallelujah it's terrible people are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next i pray for you see when the angel of death hear me when the angel of death came to goshen and egypt the angel of death killed everybody it's just that when he came he found out that some houses were already killed when he saw blood on their house he said these people are already died and he passed by i pray that blood of sprinkling that blood he said when i see the blood not by accident not by terrorism in the name of the lord jesus i command supernatural preservation receive it now supernatural preservation receive it now every lecturer in APU and in all the institutions in this town because I already see the arrows of death on some lecturers the Lord is ministering to me 
and I'm saying that between now and December 4, I see four other professors going, but we stop it, we change it in the name of Jesus. We stop it, we change it, we stop it, we change it, we stop it. He said, the heaven of heavens, Mabatakata, Rakata Bata, Beto Botokota Labatika. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. But the earth has he given. Now let me pray for you. You, 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 you have no covenant with death. We are entering the ember months now. Hallelujah. Please, see, take seriously the things that happen here. Are you hearing me? Liver is the power of God that is bringing her upstage. It's a sign and a wonder. Just cover her. Hallelujah. Please, we're out of time. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. See, listen. Hear me, those inside and outside. Never believe. Hear me, please. Now, and I don't want you to feel bad. I know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones. We've stood by you, but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for Satan and say he can ride into your family anytime. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every time death is ravaging people, God will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry. I want to pray for you. Ember month is the time when people, look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speak. The Bible tells us that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. I want to speak on behalf of people. Lift your hands, please. Because many of us travel. There are some of us who are in business. You travel to Lagos. You travel to Kotono. Some of you are moving around. Some of you are coming from different places. My Duguri, Joss, Bauchi. Come out of her now. Out. Out of her. Now. A very violent spirit. Lift your hands. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence. I declare that throughout this year, I have no covenant with the spirit of death. Say, death, hear my voice. I am an ambassador and in the name of Jesus the seal of the blood is upon me I am protected my family members are protected father in the name of Jesus I believe your word and I declare that I enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in say in my going out and in my coming in therefore i pray for you that as you have declared let your eyes live to see the experience in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah you've not given your heart to jesus please remain standing everyone here please remain standing hallelujah you have not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ this is a family this is where we are ready to introduce you to the love of your life the Bible says whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away many of us have been struggling you've been struggling some of you are born again 
you've given your heart to the Lord truly but there are encumbrances pushing you away from God right now please everybody stand I know you've been standing please stand for one last time inside and outside let's honor God and let's honor the greatest miracle that is about to happen young and old rich or poor as you hear my voice the Holy Ghost is going to be talking to some of you and he's going to tell you it is time the Bible says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart you've never given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing I don't care what you have done there is a home for you tonight as everybody begins to appreciate them I want you to leave your seat and come out right now everybody come out from outside God bless you outside sister brother don't sit back people are coming thank you Jesus thank you Jesus don't sit back don't wait for somebody to come please keep clapping koinonia no devil will stop you God bless you sir God bless you they are coming please appreciate them don't sit back there are a lot of you outside God is speaking to you brothers God is speaking to a lot of brothers outside don't let your friends stop you don't let your friends stop you keep coming keep coming thank God for the harvest keep coming keep coming shake it take it the devil that will stop you from being saved has been defeated keep coming keep coming God bless you we believe you have been blessed by this message for additional information you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash koinonia eternity network international or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash koinonia underscore eni hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.